Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It is a Monday, it is the start of a brand new week and oh my, what a weekend it's been here uh, in the UK. It's a brand new week though to look forward to and we've got a brilliant Monday uh, to get you kicked off as well. I'm not here on my own, she's with me here all day today. Debbie's back, how are you Debbie? I'm back, yes, you are. back, back here in the building. Um, I am absolutely chilled, super relaxed and just ready Amazing. and ready to go. Because uh, I've had uh, some time off during Yes, I know, okay. and me too, I've had yes. six days off. So what have you been up to? Well, where did it start? Oh, let me think. Started way back with my first original Books Viz uh, gig. Of course. Of the um, holding of the gorgeous trophy, the 1981 trophy, which was quite an intimate gig, and it was lovely. That's where that started, and then it just went from there. So I've had another Books Viz gig. I've had Blackpool. So I've had Sapphire. Oh, I saw your bat Mars bar picture. <laughs> Only battered Mars bar. You're not going to find a battered Mars bar somewhere. Uh, but I also have had, as well, a lovely few days away on our, well, I'm saying our, it's not mine all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it were, on our narrow boat in Manchester, nice. which we, we missed you because I you know. were away. You weren't there. Yeah. But we've had a fabulous time because obviously it's been the Queen's Jubilee. Of course. So there's been parties galore, lots of things going off, and it's been absolutely fabulous. And I've only just touched the ground yesterday when I got back home. Well, I mean, busy. what a welcome. It's so lovely uh, to have you back. Uh, everyone, of course, had an amazing weekend. Lots of people were celebrating, of course, the Platy Jubes, as I've been calling it. The Platy Jubes. The Platy Jubes all weekend, <laughs> the Platinum uh, Jubilee. I must say, I haven't really seen much of the coverage, but I'll be catching up on mm. it. Uh, I was off seeing Steps. It was not a tragedy. Uh, on uh, Friday, I was at a music festival, and I was at the Killers on Saturday uh, as well in London. It was so good. Maybe I'll pop a couple of those videos on my uh, on my Facebook uh, a little bit later and also well, I forgot I don't know what we've done with my box we've had some beautiful gifts of oh, yeah, we'll, we'll share you I've, I've put my box over there yeah mine's my, over there so as well some fabulous gifts being sent to me well I actually thought oh my days I come back and they've got boxes galore on my name on I was like what's all this opened it up and there were literally boxes and boxes and boxes of fabulous sweets and gifts oh. and then a huge big huge big box of extra sweets as well from our lovely lisa so i mm. met lisa a few weeks ago but over in chesterfield at the book signing for sarah's she did tell me when she got something planned for us didn't expect that can i just tell you so there's been a lot of happy smiley faces this morning uh, and i've still got a few to dish out to everybody so thank you very much great big love to you for sending us those fabulous delicious oh gosh goodies. Debbie, i thought i, I, I was going to get back, I, get back, I, back I, thought, today. I, I thought today was the day <laughs> i mean i've eaten like a right truffle pig all weekend i thought today was the day that we're going to get back to the diet but it doesn't look like that's the case <laughs> does it i'd love to know actually uh if you've been uh celebrating because loads of people been doing lots of there's been street parties yeah. galore and music festivals and yeah. all sorts of stuff i'd love to know what you did with your long weekend if you're here in the uk or just your weekend if you're over in the us get in touch with us crafters tv over on facebook crafters companion across on YouTube. Loads of you chatting with us already uh, today. Rhiannon's in, she's saying hi. Debbie Joe, CTV crew, crafty friends from a cold and wet Ballarat, Australia. I hope that you're all having a happy day. Now here's a question for you, Rhiannon, because um, the Queen is still head of state, isn't she, in Australia? So did you have extra oh, bank holidays oh, and did yeah. you have lots of celebrations? Oh, that's interesting. For the Platinum Jubilee, I'd love to know. Uh, Catherine is saying hi from a chilly New Jersey. Laura's in Virginia. Carol's in Tennessee. Pam is in Gloucester see Mary's in as well from Wisconsin too. Lots of you tuning in and saying hello today. This is Wake Up Call then, 11am uh, uh, here in the UK, 6am on the East Coast. Two great shows to look forward to today after this one. An amazing craft along coming up at uh, 2pm here in the UK, which is 9am uh, over on the East Coast with the gate folds, Debbie, and that's exciting. They're yes. really versatile, those dyes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. And I am going, this, the craft along is something a little bit different because although you'll probably see on the your pictures of what you need and things like that, there is, there is more than one we just couldn't photograph it everything because we're going to do a couple maybe two or three different styles to show you how versatile those gatefold dies are so we're going to do how it's intended maybe something a little bit different and then of course one of the lovely boxes as well which is what's planned so all you need to do is make sure you've got all of those dies some cardstock head 
over to the social pages, you'll see the list of the things to make the box, but there is other things that we're going to be making as well because I, I wanted to come back with a little bit of a, a little, little bit of a bang, shall yeah, we say. And we'll, we'll show you how you can use those fabulous dies in very many different ways. And awesome. I'll craft along. Uh, yeah, and then of course a little bit later today, 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. over on the West Coast, we will have Monday Makers for you as well. And there's loads of brilliant stuff uh, coming up in that for you as well. Uh, but talking about those decorative gatefold dies, let's share with you, uh, those with you uh, right away. We've still got all six in stock, which is amazing. So uh, we launched on the 27th of April. We're still able uh, to repeat that launch offer for you, which is really quite a fortunate situation considering just how incredibly busy these were. Uh, I remember launching these uh, on the 27th of April. So you guys have loved them. Loads of you already uh, have your hands on these and you'll be able to join us for that fabulous Craft Along project. If you don't yet own them though, oh, don't worry, don't despair. Uh, we've got you back because we've got that launch offer again for you. So I'll just take you through what you're getting. They are incredibly versatile. There's so many different ways you can configure them and pop them together. Let's start with this one then. These are uh, This one here is your floral meadow that you've got. So each one of these, you have two different panel dies. So create a card die, so you've got that removable outside edge. Now you've got options when you put them together. So you can either pop them together, the two matching panels, as you can see just here, so that gives you these two styles or you can have one of each panel you can also uh, then bring in as well these central dies too so you can actually have these as your closing mechanism if you want to just as a separate decorative element but loads of different ways to put them together well that one's your floral meadow then you've also got this one here which is your floral swirls this one here is your deco vines which i absolutely love i think it is super cool that one and the panel there is beautiful the next one you've got is this one here this is your lace and scroll love that they've all got different shapes to the gatefolds too so you will get a really different look and feel for each of them this one here is your classic lace as you can see just there absolutely gorgeous and then last but by no means least, probably my favorite actually the opulent botanicals it's like a sort of um lightning bolt isn't it like closing mechanism that you've got just on there. 74.95 or 99.75, that replicates the launch offer for you with a great saving under 60 pounds or 80 dollars if you are a platinum member. If you want to go for a couple of these, two for 26 pounds or 35 dollars. So if you want to pick and choose, you absolutely can do so. Getting busy on these already. So uh, yes, do grab them. Also go and have a little look at all the other stuff that's coming up uh, throughout the day today. You'll find that all over on the Shop the Day button, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Hit the Shop the Day and you'll see absolutely all of the glorious goodies that we've got coming up for you across the day. Did you see any of the, um, the Platitudes concert, Debbie? Have you seen it yet? I'm going to watch it back tonight, I think. I uh, know. I've got loads to watch because of, because being away as well. And, and the lovely thing about being on a narrow boat, it's stripped back. It's like um, a very relaxing, minimalistic way of living. Yeah. Um, so there was no TVs or anything like that. So I've not watched anything, to be fair. I am, although, because I have taped everything. Plus, my daughters, my eldest daughter, my youngest daughter, they're not very much into the royal family, but... I am. Right. I am, so I've taped everything. Perfect. I got teary over and peering in EastEnders when I watched me catch up on EastEnders <laughs> when I saw Prince Charles and Camilla there. I got really teary in my time. Oh. Why are you getting all upset, Mama? Because it's a very, it's a monumentous occasion. It is, yeah. All of this that we've been doing, it's been lovely. So I am going to watch back on that and I've, I'm dying to see the Queen herself. Have you seen the Paddington Bear and the Queen I've section? Seen, I have seen that because she that gets was all the over the marmalade social. sandwich out of her handbag. I, do you know what? That's what I love about the Queen. It just is, just truly, that for me was just literally, just showed what mm. fun loving side she's got to her as well. Um, and the fact that she served us for 70 years. It's a long time, isn't it? Giving her life to our country and to It's almost as long as Johnny's been here at Crafters Companion. <laughs> I can hear him laughing at me, at me there, I can. Right, shall we get on with the show, Joe? Shall yes, we let's. The show? But do share your stories with us. This is all about interaction. Share your stories with us, what you've been getting up to, uh, because honestly, it just warms our heart to, to hear those kind of things. But I am going to show you some, I'm going to show you some of the designs on how these have been created. I think I've got that upside down there. Let me just show you this one first. Uh, this is how they've been worked to give you that gatefold a feature. 
but they meet in the middle so it gives you that lovely open and shut like so now on the craft along show that we're going to be doing we are going to do we're going to start with um showing you how this works this lovely That's gate gorgeous, system isn't it? thank you very much that was one of mine uh, so <laughs> you can see that lovely feature where they meet in the middle you've got that traditional gatefold feel but you've got lovely options with this because you've got like um on let me just get this one back up joe because i think that was the one that did we use two different ones on that one i think we might have done where well, you've got two different contrasting designs on them so that's how they're intended but then you can take it into lots of for me as a crafter i always say this and um, and I never apologise, I sound like a broken record, but I will say it, it's got to do more than one thing. So mm. yes, you've got that traditional gatefold, but I want the die to work for me in so many different ways to make me want to get it, to make me want to have it and hone it in my crafty stash. I want it to do more than one thing. And these dies absolutely tick that box perfectly. So you can use it for a lovely little decorative element onto the front of your card. But when you open it up, you can see that you've been able to use those That's dies really to create cute. a lovely wow factor in the centre of your card. But then of course because you've got the two different designs it means you can i mean this is really quite it's quite a trick of the eye but it's really quite a, a funky card this one because you've got this lovely decorative edge on this feature and then on the open side as well and your dies because they come in split pay uh, split split payments what am i thinking of there they do, <laughs> they do, what did you say <laughs> split payments that's because i'm a buying some at this one <laughs> that's because i bought, bought some at this morning <laughs> <laughs> on split payments, I do apologise. I've yeah, been shopping. I've been, I have been shopping, yes. I've <laughs> been shopping for a new uh, denim jacket and some other dresses. Oh, nice. <laughs> No, split panels is the word that I was looking for. <laughs> now, this is another one that I did in the launch That's show. Just showing you how you can create this beautiful... This is like a reverse gatefold. Um, we are going to be doing this in the craft along as well. So if you ever, if you want to know, we're going to be doing that too. Uh, but again, let me just show you lots and lots of different versatile ways in which you can use these. This one I love. It's being used as an easel card. That's as a decorative cute, panel on the top and the front. That is absolutely beautiful. This one, I love this one. Uh, oh, it's done this jackie's done this jackie smith i think jackie's been on our um craft factor isn't she i think i'm sure she did a little let's uh, stint up here uh, now look at this beautiful on the edge you've got this gorgeous because the pat because the dies come in split panels it means you can do the decorative and also that lovely fancy edge but then look at this one what she's done she's created a fold on a fold i just think that is beautiful and then lastly because you've got the two different designs in each one of them it means that you can create an uh, again another wow factor so this is just being used on the top part of the gatefold and then the decorative panel on the bottom to create something really quite wow and that's what i love about them and like i said this is going to be the focus of our craft along coming up at two 2 p.m. UK time, <clears throat> 9 a.m. Eastern time. I've got that right, Joe. I've got that right. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah. Indeed, so that's really. what we're going to be doing. And we've got a box in there. We've got a gatefold card in there. And we've got a different reverse gatefold card uh, that I'm going to be doing Could too. Could you have a triple craft along? But of course, I said to come back, didn't I, and do something uh, a little bit different. So I'm going to show you these dies and how they work. Is that all right, Joe? Am I all right to get crafting? Absolutely. You can Can you tell on. I've been away? <laughs> I've been um, here, I've missed crafting. Uh, lots of people talking about the Jubilee. Rhiannon says, I was able, I wish I was able to watch some of the celebration. I did enjoy Paddington Bear. That was very, very well done. Uh, Bubble and Squeak says, I didn't watch the concert live. I did catch up on the act I wanted to see last night. Love the whole Queen and Paddington sketch. Oh, I'm quite excited to see Diana Ross's performance. Because I'm, yes, getting to, I'm, getting to see her, I'm going to see her at Glastonbury. I'm very excited. Oh, wow. uh, and Linda says, I saw the Jubilee concert and the Queen with Paddington Bear on YouTube uh, since I live in Maryland. Loved it. I think everyone I've spoken to said it was incredible yeah, i've that, seen some of the visuals from the front of the palace and it looked yeah. incredible Re a real treat that was uh, right joe so what is a real treat these fantastic dies at that fantastic price and when you think about the versatility and what these dies offer you this is really a, a really quite grand occasion itself because i absolutely adore these um we're giving you a little bit of a start because these are our gatefold dies but they're under our create card brand so the create a card means that you can create many a card not just one card many 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 different style cards and we've we've popped on here a couple of three different ways that you can use your designs so you can use the two different designs together to create this beautiful almost like a yin and yang kind of feature of course then you could use just one part of the die so one decorative element of the die you could use twice or the other part of the die you could use twice to create this lovely feature but they come in separate pieces so you've got these panels that create the outside piece on both sides and then the decorative pieces 
These are the ones that cut straight in. Perfect. Using these together create the panels. So you can see straight away there's lots of different ways that you can use them. So I'm just going to take that off and pop that into there. Now what we've also done is we thought, you know what, we're giving you that, but we need to give you something a little bit extra as well. So we have. We've popped on there some nesting die features. So when you're using your sentiments, or your stamp sentiments, or your little, little sentiments, whatever it is that you want to do, you've got some extra little features on here. And all of these come in separate pieces. And I guess so you'd use those on their own as well, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, honestly, Joe, yeah, absolutely. Every single time. So lots of lovely elements to use these. Uh, and uh, when did they launch these, Joe? Because we launched the 27th of April. Yeah, no, I know. Did I launch them with you? I'm pretty it? sure it was you and I that yeah, launched them. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. So you've got two hours dedicated to that launch, and then obviously we've had further shows since, where you've got the other craft experts giving you their take on it, and then of course we've got that fabulous craft along this afternoon. Now I'm going to start with multi-purpose cardstock. So this is our multi-purpose cardstock that I have literally, and I'm just going to give you the measurements because it literally is. Um, um, half of the A fold folded in half and half again but I've cut it down to five and three quarters so it's actually a five and three quarter inch square okay, and look. I've folded that piece in half to create now this lovely fold back feature now I did say to you that I'm going to show you how to use these as they're intended in that uh, show later on today uh, but what I'm going to do is show you that versatility factor in this particular de demo Brilliant. So first things first, we're going to use this to cut. Now, this is entirely up to you how you do this. You can if you want, because the lovely thing about these dies is they look like a solid panel, but this piece here, and this is on both sides of those dies, it's actually a score line, so okay. it doesn't cut out. So this is the bit that cuts out, which is where you can get that perfect gatefold every single time. And like I said, if you're not sure how to use them, tune in to our craft along later on today, where I'm going to show you how to create that perfect gatefold. But for now, what I'm going to do is create a lovely die cut element on the edge of both this side and this side using both sets of the dies. So I'm going to pop that into there and I'm going to take this side of the die up to the very edge, straight edge of here. So I don't want it overlapping, I want it to cut into it. So I'm going to take it up to the edge. Now you can, like I said, do this in two parts. This doesn't have to be done in one fail swoop. And I'm going to try and find me low tack tape for a second, Joe, because I thought I were all prepped. No worries. If you've got any questions about these, let us know. If you actually, if you own them as well, I'd love to know what you make of them, how you've been finding, how you've been getting on with them. You can get in touch with me, Crafters TV, over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, over on YouTube. Uh, Kirsty D is. She says, "I'm hi, I'm back. Uh, oh, back to work today after a week off. Oh. Sorry, oh, got the wrong end of the stick there. So it's back <laughs> to sneaky check-ins whilst at work of Crafters TV. You're not the only one, Kirsty. You're really, really not." <laughs> No, we're all back to work as well. I hadn't realised when I'd planned my holiday, Joe, though, it was the bank holiday jubilee. Yeah. So, and I'd actually booked the boat before I realised it was a jubilee, so, because I booked it last year. Um, so I hadn't, I'd, I'd completely forgotten about did you, the jubilee. Um, did you get to see much? I know there's a flower show, wasn't there, in Manchester yes, over the weekend? Yes, it's beautiful. With oh. lovely installations. I remember last year I was oh, there, they honestly. just put lovely installations all through the city, don't they? Yeah, they were through the city, they were in post boxes, on bicycles, they were, oh, honestly, just absolutely beautiful, it really was, it was, it was, it was, it was glorious. Mm. Manchester was just beautiful, I mean, it's beautiful it's actually when my daughter over you know i told you she was looking for somewhere to live in brighton yeah and they've been looking at viewing the properties um being on the narrow books that was that's something else that she wanted to do yeah um she wants to live on water too like a mum um oh. and it's something that they're looking into in manchester oh so she's coming I'm not, I'm not going to get too excited right. because I don't want to get too excited. So potentially, uh, because could potentially she could be literally an hour away from me. So she's and after Bristol living away moment. for 12 years, she's been living in Bristol, which is quite a distance. It's oh. it's a fair distance mm. from where I am. So I'm not going to get too excited that she potentially could be coming home. Well, there's a lovely little marina at the end of my road, Debbie. You could come and stay in the Debbie yeah. Robinson Street and then you could go, you know, toot long down to well, the marina. Well, they've actually been looking and while, while a partner's been back home, because he came home for a few days with the little dog Evie, um, they've, be, they've already um, seen a boat. Oh. They've, they've, uh, I think they've, they've popped the names down to uh, for Manchester already because there's a bit of a waiting list. Uh, so they've put the names down as well. Um, and it's something that I think they're seriously going to be considering because um, they've already set the ball rolling. So wow. that, I know, I, I tell you. She, they don't mess about my lot. They don't. They don't mess about at all. Um, so, but I'm not, again, I'm not going to get. I'm not going to get overexcited, Joe, because. Um, well, fingers crossed, Debbie. Oh, if well, I mean, I love sway Manchester. Or influence them, you let us know. Do you know what I can't get over? How big all the buildings are. Do you know when you live How in a very small what? village? 
how the big the buildings right. are in Manchester in Manchester yeah. everywhere I've literally had neck ache for the last few days because <laughs> I have literally been like this everywhere because everywhere is like so incredibly tall yeah, I guess so. um, but just beautiful beautiful food beautiful vibe lovely lovely vibes at city yeah it's a wonderful place so yeah I absolutely, absolutely. Adore it there. and Liam is it Liam what's he called our kid, what's he called? Liam Gallagher. Thank you, Liam Gallagher. Was playing on the night, one of the nights that ah. we were there. Oh, and everywhere I saw were bucket hats. <laughs> everywhere there oh, were well, I was coming hats. back on the, on the Saturday when I was coming back from London. I got the train from, uh, from Finsbury Park back to Cambridge and we stopped at Stevenage and it was the second night that he was playing at Nebworth. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to get a nap on that train. We pulled into Stevenage. I've never seen so much Stone Island and as many bucket hats in my life. Stone Island is a, a brand of clothing that uh, the sort of Oasis fans tend to wear. It was very rowdy, Debbie. Very, very It was. Rowdy. It was very rowdy. I actually, I actually got quite a little bit, like, not scared, but just a little bit. It, it felt a little bit overwhelming. There were so many, so many fans there. It was a little bit, whoo, a little bit weird. But then I've had me, I've had me own little... Uh, because I went to go and see Alan Carr on Friday night as well. Yeah. Did you? you what? Yes. Alan, Alan Carr? Carr? Well. Yeah. Oh, he was so funny. Knowing Sheffield producer Johnny had to come back to Sheffield for that little bit. Uh, but yeah, it was just fabulous. We've, I tell you, we've crammed everything into this I mean, holiday. We've really been leading the life for Riley, haven't we, the pair of us this weekend? <laughs> now, you can see that beautiful design really on the pretty. edge. Just looks absolutely incredible. So what I'm going to do now is pop it onto the other side. Now, like I said, Joe, I'm going to show you how to work the gatefold element in the craft the long shore but for now I'm going to use these as that decorative edge so again I'm just going to turn that around like so pop in the decorative piece and again you could do this piece first the outline and then go in the decorative or you could go in the decorative and then the outline over the top but I feel quite comfortable in doing it in one go I'm just going to turn my plate the right way though um, it's a national yo-yo day as well national what day Penny says happy national yo-yo day yeah, yo, well, is there uh, such a thing? Johnny's questioning it because uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently Aunt Penny said it was National Tarzan Day the other day and it, well, it didn't happen to be. So, uh, But I've got some yo-yo facts coming in for you, which I'll share with you uh, during the show. Stay, stay tuned for uh, lots of exciting contact. Content, sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ben was wearing, was wearing a loincloth. Oh, was wearing a loincloth. Ben was going to go and get his loincloth, apparently. Debbie's having to fan herself now. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Cloth. Then think the, the images of Ben in a loincloth. No, it's just me. I'm having a bit of a... Oh, having a bit of a moment over here. You're Nothing to do with Ben in his loincloth, let me tell you. Summer. You are a personal, a personal I am having a personal summer, yes. <laughs> I am. So I'm going to go and go and put the fan on in a moment, Joe. I'll, so, I'll well, put your fan on for thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, Debbie Robinson wind machine. Here it comes. <laughs> Can you tell I'm back? <laughs> I can't help it, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Um, now, literally, you can see it's cut out the edge of that beautiful design, and then I'm just going to take off. And When you're taking these off, just be careful when you're going, uh, going to take them out. Just literally pull that out gently, and then pop that down. Oh, thank you, Joe. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, that's, that's, that's hit the spot. In fact, actually, it might have hit it too much. So let me just, <laughs> hang, hang on a minute. <laughs> Let me, let me know when I sit down. Speed. Let me angle it away from you a little bit. There we go. Can you see me? I literally, because I've got like back, back wing sleeves on my top, and I could feel it going up there. No, I think How it are might. We there? I think it are might need right to. Uh, no, I think it, I think you can put it back. I think it's okay. You want to turn it off? <laughs> turn it off. No, no, no. Turn it around. Turn it around. Oh, back, turn it back as it were. Sorry. It. Yeah, back, back to me. That's it. Thank you very much. I could, you know, maybe I could just sort of, maybe, I could just sort of, oh no, the lead's not long enough. I could just sort of bring it in and stand next to you with it, if you like. Yeah, well, do you know, I've had, that, I've had offers like that before in the past where people have wanted to literally <laughs> fan me. Fan me? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, I used to carry a little fan in my bag with me everywhere I went, Joe, as well. So, now then, I'm going to carry on just poking all these pieces out. So, if you just give me a second, Joe. Oh, well, I've got, minute, don't right? worry, I've got all the yo-yo facts for you. Oh, thank it's, uh, you. Yo, National Yo-Yo Day. Not like yo, yo, hi, you know, as in yo-yo, the toy. Uh, terracotta <laughs> examples of yo-yos have been found in ancient Greek art, dating to between four to 500 BC, Debbie. Four to five what? Yeah, four to 500 BC. So, the yo-yo is two and a half thousand years old. Oh my That's days. Bonkers, isn't it? 
Um, goodness me, has it been? Yo-yo uh, has also been called a bandalore, which is a French term, and a quiz, and was named a yo-yo in 1928 in the United States by Pedro Flores, who was a Filipino immigrant. Wow. Great yo-yo facts, these. Uh, I can't take credit for these. Taylor's sending these over to me. Um, <laughs> So cheap yo-yos can spin approximately 10 to 20 seconds with a record of nearly four minutes, uh, while professional ball bearing yo-yos can spin for one to four minutes with the world record set at just over 21 minutes, Debbie. Wow. I know. Wow. Uh, international yo-yo competitions apparently held all over the world every single year. Um, do you remember when yo-yos became a big craze again? About... Oh, yeah. I reckon about sort of 15 years ago, mate? No, maybe... No, maybe 20 years ago. I always think how old I would have been, and then I forget that I'm not 27 anymore. Because in my head, I'm always about 26, 27 when I sort of predate things. I'm actually not. I'm 36 next, uh, in a couple of months. Um, Yo-Yo in space. In, 18, in 1985, Yo-Yo was taken to space by NASA's Space Shuttle Discovery Mission, a part of the Toys in Space program. Oh, Ooh. wow. Uh, the plan was to see the effect of microgravity on the toy. The result, you could release the Yo-Yo, but without gravity, it wouldn't, it wouldn't sleep. Uh, that's where it keeps spinning at the end of the string and we'll just come back up the string again. So oh, if you're yeah. looking for a yo-yo escape, you know, out of space is not the place for you, I'm afraid, if you're, uh, if you're into yo-yoing. <laughs> uh, the largest yo-yo in the world weighs 256 pounds. Um, it's in the Chico's National Yo-Yo Museum in California. There is a National Yo-Yo Museum in California. Oh my um, goodness me. Uh, which has got into the Guinness Book of Records, was designed by Tom Kuhn, uh, and guess what? It actually works. Gosh. <gasps> wow. That's a, lot, that's a very heavy yo-yo, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Uh, apparently, Napoleon and Nixon played yo-yo. Uh, much before this toy dom dominated the US, it had already been popular in ancient Europe. History, and history has it that General Napoleon and his troops were seen with yo-yo before the Battle of Waterloo to bust stress. Uh, in seven, 1974, President Richard Nixon appeared on a TV show with a yo-yo. There you go. Not Goodness just us mere me. mortals, conquerors you and presidents. You are full of facts today, I am. You're Thank full you, of Taylor, facts. for sending those over. <laughs> Uh, do, do you know, I've played yo-yo, I'm not very good at it, so I'm not... Uh, did you ever try it, Joe? Oh, I'm not very good. We used to do all the ones, didn't you, like, round the world? Yeah, no. Do you remember all, that, all the different tricks that you could yeah, do? Yeah. When I, I, I was I, in secondary school was when it had the big sort of resurgence recently, yeah. with the light-up yo-yos and stuff. Yeah, it went, uh, it went for me, that one. I'd, I'd never, I could never quite grasp uh, the yo-yo element to it. It was when you didn't do it right and it used to ping up and hit you in the face. That was yes. what I didn't like. <clears throat> well, I had many, uh, many occasions where I did that as well. So, yes. Or the little loop would get so tight around your finger that your finger would start oh, to go Oh, God, I blue. remember that. I remember that very well, yes. So it wasn't really for me at all. Uh, now, you've seen me just running these through. So these are the extra little parts. So this is the two pieces now that have created that lovely background feature with the fold back. Um, and then I've used those. Uh, and I've only used two of them, Joe, because there's a few in there. But you've got the decorative element that sits beautifully into that background piece um, and it just looks and I've used some um, of the actually this is from the um, if I remember rightly it is from the masquerade ball um, papers because I've used the masquerade ball papers to create myself um, some little features just onto here and also I'm going to have a little bit of a decorative piece onto the back panel as well to give it a nice little feature when it's opening up so we're going to pop that onto there and pop those pieces in as well so this is all the little pieces now to create this lovely real decorative feature to a card but quite striking so I'm going to put all these pieces together Jo let me um, pop on my glue Uh, very, means, very Joe? busy on these. Lots of you taking the opportunity to grab them. Remember, it is that craft along. So uh, if you want to join us for the craft along, 2 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. on the East Coast, 6 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast. Uh, Leone says, Oh, Debbie, do you even remember 36 years? So young, our Joe. Oh, Debbie, do you even remember 36 years? So young, Arjo. I think she's saying how young I am. She's saying that she can remember vividly 36 years ago. Yes, um, I can. Yeah, yeah 1986, absolutely. I was born. What year did Bucks Fizz win? 1981. Eurovision? 1981. So 41 years ago. <laughs> 41 years ago, way before your time, Joe, way before yeah. your time. So you're, yeah. thir so you're 35 right now? 35, yeah, I'll yeah. be 36 in September. Because my eldest daughter, this is why we went away, because it's her 30th birthday in September. Ah. So she was born in 1992. What year were you again? 86. 86, yeah. 
What were I doing in 1986? Oh, I know where I were in London. Were you? Yeah, yeah, we're working in London in 1986. Wait a minute. I think you need to what? write a book, Debbie. Oh, I tell you. I've, I could tell you some right stories. Good stories, Joe. Nice, good stories. Nice. Listen, I know most of them. <laughs> I think I can write it for you, Debbie, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Bubble and Squeak says, I struggled with a yo-yo, also struggled with a hula hoop. Yeah, I'm not really designed for hula hoop. I'm sort of more built for comfort than speed, I always say, Debbie. I used to be able to do a hula hoop um, when I were a bit more curvier, when I had curves that went in a little bit, <laughs> and it used to fit inside there. It's yeah. got a little bit thicker now, so it's <laughs> not quite the same. Uh, but there's been a big trend, haven't there, with hula hoops? Not the hula hoops, but like a hula hoop thing that has a spinning ball. Is it a spinning ball? In the hula hoop. The, in the hula hoop, when they could do all this. has got a light-up hula hoop, which oh, is Oh, I tell impressive. you, there's some fan fancy hula hoops at the moment. Oh, look at that, Joe. Look how gorgeous that. Just that little offset of the masquerade paper. Nice. Just makes that pop a little bit. I am actually going to pop some ribbon around it as well. So I'm going to place a little bit of ribbon. Now I've used some um, of my purple satin ribbon here and I'm just going to sit it into this little piece here just to break it up a little bit but you could be popping anything down there a strip of paper matching paper onto there but I fancied a little bit of ribbon so I'm going to go in don't knock that this is going to got big sleeve wings on today so I'm gonna have to be careful what I'm doing um, so I'm just going to pop me tape just onto there and pop that and it just fits perfectly i've chosen this ribbon for a reason because it's it's just the right size um, for this particular die and then i'm going to just take that around the corner sarah bounces on g joe i left school in 86 i feel so old now yeah i'm just thinking i'm like when you said that 1986 yeah goodness me that's a long time ago but i do remember it quite vividly there we go. So that's that little piece just onto there. And I'm just going to now pop on a little bit of a decorative bow just going round the side as well. So let's just bring that back in on itself and just place that onto there. And that's just a little bit of a decorative element to it. And we're going to come back to these little pieces. So I'm going to just use my dotty tape pen for the back of this lovely filigree design, which is really, it's, I mean, it's just that added little touch and it's, it's, it's again making those dies really versatile because I reckon that you'd be using these for your sentiments outside of this collection as well. Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, because it's a nice little nesting die set. So let's pop that on. Need a little bit of a foam pad, so I'm going to have a little route round for a foam pad. Oh, they're tiny. Has John got any big ones at all? Can we ask our John if we've got what some? What we after? Uh, big foam pads. Big foam pads. Big foam pads. Yeah. Oh, I've got a couple here, so I'll use these. Oh, I don't think... Oh, are these? Oh, where is he? Has Craig been leaving his foam pads behind? Yeah, I'll pop a couple of those onto there. But, yeah, I could use some uh, big foam pads. So I'm just going to pop those on. I think maybe these might be some of Craig's, these. So I'm just going to pop that on as well. And that's going to go... And let's just sit it above there. And then I'm using um, one of my little uh, thank you sentiments from you know, the Dragonfly collection that we did recently. Oh, yeah. This is from the Dragonflies. So this is a thank you. And I'm just going to pop that running through the centre part. I think I could do with, though, a little bit of... Um, a little bit of tacky glue. Where, where's my decanted bottle? There it is. Let's bring that in. So I'm just going to take that out and then pop a little bit onto there so many options putting these together as well i think you know if you're going for if you're going for a couple of these brilliant i think if you can stretch for it definitely go for uh, the full collection because having six the versatility is amazing i think playing around i think they're really lovely debbie as well when you get a set of dies that maybe get you back into your stash you know a collection yes. maybe you've stopped using you could give it a really different look and feel uh, with these and discover some bits of your stash Oh, was that you, Debbie? No, it was not. I've been heckled again. Every time I come here, I get heckled by that thing. What is it? Is it a... Is it a always getting honked at. Is it a lorry? I'm always, always honking at me. He always getting honked at, at by a passing truck driver. <laughs> Do any of the other guests? Do they get no, honked No, no one else at? gets honked at. He oh, must know I'm in the building. He must know I'm back from my holidays. <laughs> There we go. So I'm just going to pop that on. And do you know what? I think I'm going to leave it, Joe. I'm going to add some extras, but I think 
it just speaks for itself and again shows you that versatility factor you can see the two different designs from that one set and this set that I used was the floral swirls so you can see how beautiful it creates lovely decorative features because yes it works beautifully with the gatefold which we are going to cover in that craft along show but I'm going to try and cram in three different things that we're going to do in the craft along at 2 p.m. Yep, where we're going to try and show you some different um, ideas on how to use them um, to create uh, using your, your two set dies there, which I just think are absolutely fabulous. So they're from the Creator Card range. We call them de decorative gatefolds because the concept mm -hmm. is that you can create that lovely gatefold where they fold in on each other perfectly, neatly, every single time. And I'm going to cover that with the very first one in the craft along and then we're going to develop it all the way through we're going to go through like a little storytelling of different ways that you can use them in three different styles so don't forget to tune in at 2 p.m uh, where we'll go through that in more detail for you brilliant let me take you back through then the full collection most of you are going for the full collection they are available also on a multi-bite as well but i'll take you back through the different um ones you're going to receive you're going to get the floral meadow uh, which is this one just here absolutely beautiful so then we also have the uh floral swirls which is this one here two different designs for you use the two designs together so you get a matching gatefold or mix them up as you can see so three clear defined ways of using them that's before you even think about splitting them out and using the panels individually uh, as you sure saw debbie showing us a little earlier there's your deco vines then we also have this one here which is your lace and scroll you've got the classic lace there and also the opulent botanicals as well. 74.95 or 99.75, great saving for you. Of course, all Club Inspire Platinum, all Club Inspire members are going, going to receive that Club Inspire discount. <coughs> what I would say as well, if you're over on the website and you are a Club Inspire member, if you're not, make sure you get yourself signed up. But always make sure you're signed in because then the price you see uh, is the price you'll pay. It will take into account uh, those Club Inspire discounts for you as well. Now, these were only launched on Friday, these, and they're a great price. And what's wonderful about these, I think, is that you can use them individually. You have some great ideas when it comes to using them individually. But you can really start to play around by using multiples of these. Make corner flourishes, frames, snip into them as well. It's going to all be great. That was a fancy filigree, the first one. Then you've got your dainty snowdrop there. I'm, I'm thinking that with a little bit of, you know, flooded with a little bit of glossy highlights. It's going to look beautiful uh, on something like some mirror card. Uh, and this one here is going to be so uh, brilliant. This is your elegant flourish. So absolutely use multiples. I can see that becoming like a really nice big frame maybe. And then you've also got the timeless florals in there too. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, 23.97, 29.85 is your price on these i'm imagining you know a lot like the last set we looked at Debbie, these are going to be super versatile aren't they well <clears throat> let me tell you i only recently got my hands on these um these are really again very versatile dies so there is a concept behind them so you can use them to create some lovely uh, beautiful cards i'm going to show you this one that our lovely bianca's done for us uh, because the design is that you've got this gorgeous great big swell it's absolutely beautiful but you can uh, create using like the negative and the, the positive kind of vibe to this to create these beautiful cards and then of course you can cut it out into cardstock and pop it back in so you can create lots of different things and when i mean that i mean that by simply showing you these are just some very simplistic but beautiful cards using these gorgeous grand swirls because they are absolutely beautiful again look at this one um, you can see that there's two, two different ways that you can use them straight away but it almost creates and I'm going to show you we're, we're going to go through this in the launch party later on tonight how easy these are to use and then many different ways that you can use them as well love this one that she's done again creating that negative uh, using the die to create this negative and it means it cuts out really really easily so you can see if i just open that up how it sits back into there but if you tried to cut this out yourself oh my days forever yeah, and a day at it but would. not with these dies so i'm going to show you the concept behind there but then of course you can take it into lots of different styles of card making because these are beautiful swirls look at this one that's being used as a back background decorative yeah, feature. Look how that looks stunning totally that looks. Doesn't it? Absolutely. Uh, and again, lots and lots of different ways that you can use them. Again, I'm just going to show you this one that Bianca's done. Kept it really simple. But how striking does that look? And look at, it almost looks like she's done paper piecing into there as well. But it's, it's just by using that die in just a different way to create that beautiful feature. And then, of course, you can take things like your um, gorgeous, look at this, with your um, gilding flakes. That's really lovely. Absolutely. Have I got that on? <clears throat> 
please excuse me, got it the wrong way around. Uh, but you can see now what the kind of things that you can do. And I'm going to show you this one as well because who says it's just for cards? What about your little gift box? Look oh, how gorgeous nice. that is. And again, using the gilding flakes, create the positive and the negative. And I'm going to show you how to do that later on in the show tonight. Um, very, very simple, very quick and easy to do. And then, of course, you can be decorating uh, the next piece by popping that in using um, all of your things. But again, look at this. I love this one. This one's being created. That's really cool. That's yeah, how I sort of saw you using like, like a, yeah, a big frame, decorative absolutely, frame. Absolutely, absolutely. I think you get the idea with this one. This is a really uh, clever one. I'm wondering if Michelle did this, because Michelle launched them the other day, didn't she? So I wonder if Michelle did this one. Uh, again, showing you how it cuts away, but you, it cuts away and then you can slip it back in. Use your acetate to create that lovely floating element. What about then taking it into, you know, different kinds of styles of your card making? There's all sorts that you can do with these. You can simply use them as swirls or you can use them to create that lovely they add loads uh, of texture feature. don't they yes absolutely they're beautiful uh, and i can't wait to get playing with them later on tonight so we're going to be covering these in the launch party later on today Monday I'm gonna say seven, but, oh, it, it's a monday today no don't get carried away debbie it's i'm so to... sorry that's uh, so, sorry it's a t tonight at uh, I'm, tonight I'm getting at a bit six carried in the uk away. one o'clock on the you'll east have to excuse me oh. are we doing them in the launch party tomorrow I thought so. That's why I'm getting myself all in a cuffuddle. I tell you, I've had a few days off, so I'm trying to catch up with myself because when I say I've had a few days off, I literally have shut and locked the craft room How door. How long have you been off for? Um, so I was, I went for, not last, I've had full, I finished here on Friday, I think. So, oh, it's Thursday that I finished here. So over a week? Thursday, right. last, not last week, the week before. So I've had quite oh, a bit of time off. Amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so please forgive. Oh, yes, Debbie. Yes, Monday makers later you today. Can do, you can do no harm in our eyes. We'll always forgive you. Uh, if you want to go for them, if you want to find them, they'll be under the Shop the Day category over on the website. So craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Hit the Shop the Day category. You'll see them in there. They have been really busy since they launched on Friday. They're still super busy today as well. Um, Bubble and Squeeze has ordered the Grande collection last week, waiting for them to be sent. They are beautiful. And what a great platinum price as well yeah under 20 pounds or 24 dollars for platinum members is amazing it really really is let me share this with you can't believe the saving on this it's your best ever price 27 pounds or 30 dollars is what you are saving on here with this paper library the whole point of this is um it's basically essentially every paper or style of paper that you'd need to take you through every occasion for the entire year you've got 150 papers in here and they are all organized into different categories the other thing i love about it as well is there's it's almost like you could play it like an accordion isn't it um the other great thing about it too is that you've got space in here for all of your other papers to go as well i can't do an accordion noise <laughs> Uh, that was a terrible accordion. Incordion? Accordion. Uh, impression. I always get an accordion and a harmonica confused. I don't know why. They don't even sound the same, do they? Yeah. When, when you, you squeeze, when you, when you blow. blow. When you, um, is, wait a minute. Accordion is... Do you use your fingers with an accordion? Uh, accordion is this is one. Accordion. You wear you, it, and don't you? You've got you? your fingers. And you've got fingers, haven't you? What, your fingers. Oh, yeah. You... you um, yeah, it's got buttons. buttons. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah guess I thought so. You use your fingers to play with it. And the yeah. other ones are... That's it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the papers that are coming in here, as you can see, are all different uh, designs for throughout the year. So we've got some wonderful things in there uh, for celebrations, like um, uh, you thanks, uh, sorry, not Thanksgiving, Independence Day. Uh, you also got then stuff in here, really lovely. I was going to say July 4th, and then I thought, is it July 4th? And it is July 4th, isn't it? Uh, and then we've got some beautiful ones in here too, all on a paperweight for you, which is gorgeous. I'll show you a few more of them as well. But we've got things in here for like St. Patrick's Day, great things for weddings, male birthdays, female birthdays. It really is going to uh, take you all the way through the year. There's a really gorgeous selection uh, of papers in there. But this is the best ever price that you've seen on on this you've got 150 different I think you've got 10 different themes and 15 sheets of each uh, off the top of my head that's uh, correct um, and then that's going to give you lots of images I'll just show you these ones I absolutely adore this I feel like someone maybe has had a little bit of a dip into this particular collection but here again we've got some really lovely uh, great things like baby cards here too as well so every single occasion taken care of uh, if you want to get that 5039 or 5597 uh, for platinum members comes in a great 
binder as well, which is brilliant. So you're able to store that away really easily. And add your other papers in. So you know, like with your um, paper pads, when you're getting to the end, then you've got sort of six, ten sheets in there. Take them out and pop them into here. A really great way to keep all of those papers pristine and in top notch condition as well. We're going to take a, a short break, give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. Whilst you do that, here's all the details of US delivery. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time. So your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines. So you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Take all the hard work out of patchwork with the Gemini Build-A-Block Patchwork System. This innovative collection of multimedia dies allows you to create patchwork blocks with ease and total accuracy. This set includes 18 dies to cut a range of shapes and sizes for patchwork or quilting projects. They can cut multiple layers of fabric at once. They include an accurate quarter inch seam allowance, plus all of your pieces are cut exactly the same size every time. Follow your own creative inspiration or look through the 20 patterns laid out in the guide. Not enough? There's an additional 60 patterns online. And right now, we have amazing offers on the Gemini Build-A-Block patchwork system. Quick buy, get yours now. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day.
We do create every single day here at Crafters TV, which is awesome. Lots of you still chatting away. Rhiannon was asking about the GSM of the paper. It's 120 GSM uh, in the paper library. Yes, yeah, so I hope that helps. Christine Mahoney, I mean, she is the queen of the papers, and she's got four uh, of the paper libraries. If, you, if, you, if you've already owned it and you've got it, I'd love to know what you make of it. It's kind of like the year of craft, but for paper, is how I like to think of it. Um, and yes, lots of you still chatting away. If you want to get in touch with us, we'd still like to know what your highlight of the Jubilee weekend was. Or or as I'm calling it, the Platy Jubes weekend, uh, which I think is just such a great. Uh, we're, I was calling it the Platy Jubes Bank Holly Bobs. That's what we were calling it uh, <laughs> earlier in the, in the week, which is brilliant. If you want to get in touch, Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube. We're going to move on and have a little look at these now. It's like your last chance saloon on these. These were some of our most popular ever creator cut. Are you having a laugh? No. Are you joking? We, do you know, when I was, before before I was doing my prep, we had the whole set. Are you and joking? now we're, now we're down to this. So I've had to rejig around what I was doing. There's only two of these left. Honestly. 9.51 or 11.17. <laughs> I mean, Debbie, we might as well just, we might as well go home. I yeah, mean, exactly. Like, and that's not just for one. We're giving them away. No, you it's get two one. for two. that price. You get the, a place to remember. And this one, was the most popular one of the most popular is fairy garden sparklings behind that are going to look amazing individually you should be looking at 16 pounds 99 for these you get both sets use them uh, with or without the outside edge they are amazing but it is your last chance on these you're saving 22 pounds or 25 dollars before you take your club inspired discount off as well if you had if you had to batch make cards i'm thinking these would be awesome debbie oh uh, can i just tell you at that price the purple box price is especially Amazing, my isn't it? goodness this is insane and, and and now it explains why we're down to what we're down to because initially when i first had um we, we have a list of what's going to be on our show so we can get prepped and i was told it was the whole set <clears throat> and then i had a frantic call <laughs> Uh, Debbie, we've got a slight problem. Um, they've gone. I was like, what do you mean they've oh, gone? Oh, no. I was like, what? I was on my floating boat at the, that, that precise time. And I was like, I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything about <laughs> it. So I literally frantic last night. However, however, you guys are loving these. And I can tell you now, I reckon that these won't be around later on tonight. I don't think they're going to be around no, later I on can't tonight. Imagine staying around. Uh, because they're absolutely beautiful. And again, they're such a versatile die from the Creator Card range. And they're called our delicate Creator Cards uh, because they are delicate. They're beautiful, intricate designs uh, and very easy to use. And the one I've got in my hand, I'm just going to show you. We're going to have to ask Jake and John to uh, fish out some more samples because we've got the whole set here. But this is a great sample to show you how beautiful does that so look that into this achieved, box Debbie? has that been achieved yeah it's been die cut and then colored in and it's been and colored it's not, in it's only just is it a single layer because it looks it's really been dimensional double layered. <clears throat> so it's been double layered to create a shadow drop but it's been colored with our um tricolors so it looks absolutely stunning Glorious. it really looks absolutely beautiful um and then just decorated up into this gorgeous box the one we're going to do with myself in a moment is this one here and we're going to show you uh, to create a real simplistic i'm quite into white and white at the minute but <clears throat> visually i wanted to give it a little bit of an extra oomph so i've used some uh, glitter card stuff behind nice. the back very however minimal, minimalistic but still very, very minimalistic beautiful. yeah now one of my favorite designs and i'm so shocked to see that this is still here because this design is simply beautiful and it really is the most gorgeous gorgeous look at this look That's at the really little sunny. couple under the tree and the lovely thing because it comes from the creator card range means that you can do things like this which creates that lovely see-through design it really gives it some extra detail but of course you've got that lovely design of them underneath kissing under the kissing under the tree joe and then this one here that uh, hannah's done is using it on the inside and again you can see just how beautiful that tree absolutely is you can actually cut this figurine out and just have it as like a little family tree if you want to so lots of lovely things mm. that you can do with them joe they just really say, are beautiful just to say when you're going for these please yeah. make sure you're getting them together uh, as both of them together because individually uh, you get much better value the 16.99 each you get them both for 11.89 in the uk uh, 13.96 <laughs> if you're in the us so make sure you're buying them together make sure it's that price uh, or this price of course that you're seeing when you get them in your basket please don't buy them individually a couple of you have uh, checked them out individually so do not do that no 
Definitely not. Get it while it's on that great deal. Now, it comes in two parts, uh, this, Joe. So this is the frame part, which will cut you uh, an actual panel out when you, when you team it up with the uh, delicate, intricate die cut. Now, this one itself is the one that will cut into cardstock. So it means you can cut into things like when you're making your light-up boxes or your bigger frames or your pieces. You can use it without the frame to create something a little bit different as well. So that's what I'm going to do, Joe, because I, I don't want to use the frame, I want to create a bit of a, an extra design. So I've taken a piece of Centura Pearl. I've actually got two pieces of cardstock here. Um, now, I want you to tell you as well, these are big dies. Mm. They are four, uh, just over four and a half inches by over six and a half inches. So you're talking a nice size die there, Joe. So our piece here is an actual five by seven, and I'm just going to pop that onto there. And you can see how lovely that fits in. Really, really beautiful. And this, what are the spaces that are in there, Debbie? Are these the ones that we can, can we um, stencil oh, through these if we want to? Perfect, absolutely. So you can stencil through with your inks to create a stencil effect. But this die itself has got, it's like a twofer, because it's got die cut elements, but it's also got some embossed detail in there as well. And you can always tell the embossed detail because it's the bit that hasn't got um, an outside cutting edge um, but when you run it through your Gemini we all know the power of a Gemini and for those of you who don't this is one of you know it's the machine of machines because it's got immense pressure and power to it that means you can cut and create um, and normally die cut and emboss at the same time without having to run your purple shim through Perfect. there. So I'm just going to pop that onto my platform and run that through. And you'll see then that lovely element. So when you are making things like your boxes and things like that, it just looks absolutely incredible. I love these dies. What I love even more is that fantastic price. Whether you're going, I mean, even full price without your club discount. Worth every single £11.89 sure or $13.96? Should be $40 in the US, £34 in the US. And worth every, worth every single penny of that. Worth uh, as well. But don't pay that when you don't need to. We are coming towards the end of them, which is why we're able to do such an amazing clearance price for you. I think at this price, if you don't own them, you need them in your stash for that kind of yeah, price. Yeah, and we're not going to be bringing them back, so they won't be brought back. Um, so, yes, once if you want to own them, uh, what a great opportunity. Uh, it's literally the best deal we've ever done. It's almost like a cartload price, a Sara cartload price at that as well. Literally, I'm just going to do that little tap and just pull that away. Uh, again, with it being delicate, always just literally, I take hold of the piece and I just pop my fingers down to the back of the die and just prise it out gently. Because it's delicate, I don't want you just ripping it. You know what I'm like, Joe? I rip everything off like it's a band-aid. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> and I don't want to do that with this. But look at the beautiful, gorgeous, delicate detail. I'm always uh, really impressed with how they still support themselves, though. Like, if you were to cut that into a card front, yes, uh, it would still hold itself up. I think that's really great engineering by Leanne and the team. Oh, well, they're just an absolute genius, Leanne and the team. Um, and Sara, because Sara has input as well. So, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. Look how gorgeous. Look really at the delicate beautiful. detail into and that. And you know what they give you, Debbie? Uh... Opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah, you can do some gorgeous <laughs> backgrounds to go behind there, I'm guessing. <laughs> Now, they, because they are um, delicate, you're thinking, well, would you be able to cut out on using your um, using your uh, glitter cardstock? Well, absolutely you will, Joe. Okay. So we'll, we'll run that through and I'll show you as well. And that's just because I want to create a little bit of a shadow drop. I'm just going to clean my die out for a second, though, Joe. Just um, get rid of all the other pieces. Let me uh, take my die clean and brush. Amazing. Remember what's happening for the rest of the day then here on Crafters TV. Remember you've got that craft along with those amazing gatefolds. That'll be coming up at 2 p.m. here in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast, 6 a.m. Uh, for you uh, bright and breezy West Coasters. Uh, Lorna Jane will be joining us as well. Oh, amazing. So always lovely to see Lorna Jane. Uh, and then 6 p.m. here in the UK, uh, which is 1 o'clock East Coast, 10 a.m. West Coast, we'll have Monday Makers. That one sh show of the week where maybe we go a little bit more uh, in depth. There's absolutely still something for every one of you uh, to learn. It's going to be a really great Monday. I like Mondays, Debbie. I know some people don't like Mondays. I but don't I, like Mondays. Bob Geldof didn't like Mondays at all. He wanted to shoot the whole day down, apparently. It sounds very <laughs> aggressive for a Monday. Uh, but I like a Monday. I think because we don't work Monday to Friday, it makes Monday a little easier, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Because we, we, well, we, we only have seven days a week, mm. every day of the year. We don't shoot. Well, do we shoot? Do we? Oh, we have a little break. A little Christmas. break over Christmas. Little yeah, a little break, break over Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. But I like Monday because it's like you wipe the slate clean from last week. It's the start of a new week. So when you've tracked your diet over the weekend and eating all the rubbish you can you start again on monday it's just a good sort of wipe the slate clean day i think start again start fresh yes 
Ooh. So yeah, I like that idea of starting afresh. Although I always start a fresh Monday morning and come Monday day time, I've fallen back off that bandwagon. I don't know I, about yourself, I, I but uh, that's, that's how it is. Oh, I'll start next Monday. Yeah. That's start what I tell fresh, myself every week. Start a fresh cream of clear more like most Mondays, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've eaten uh, some beautiful food of it last... Oh, some gorgeous, gorgeous food. The problem food. is, Debbie, is summer is the problem. There's yes. so many plans and the weather's so nice and it all centres around eating and drinking, doesn't it? Absolutely. Look how gorgeous that's die And that's glitter card. card stock. Glitter card stock. This is our encapsulated glitter stock. I think this actually is from the... Um, do you know the... Um, trying to remember which one it is oh it's the mix part that's it my 12 by 12 do you know the 12 by 12 oh yes mixed the glitter cardstock yep. and we've got rose gold and um is it gold silver and rose gold indeed it's it is. from one of those Brilliant. sheets that i've just chopped down but even saying that it's cut through and i'll just show you let me see if i can lift that up to show you what i mean it's cut through glitter cardstock beautifully no problem so it, it will cut through any of the cardstocks and of course obviously that is down to the power of our, our gemini machine if i just show you so you can see i'm taking some of the bigger pieces pieces out there you can see just how easy that's cut through there oops Debbie that's your design don't be doing, don't be doing that <laughs> oh nearly nearly what you so like. I'm do exa exactly what am I like so I'm going to pull that through and then we'll take out all the other pieces and again just put your hand behind the back as you're lifting it especially when you're using a, co a coated cardstock um, a little tip our Jan taught me um, because I do go like this yank and I, I, it's too it's too too heavy handed sometimes and when you've got something as delicate as these you need you need to think about how you lift that out so again just take it out and you'll see then all the bits are stayed back in the die that i can clean out later um and then we've got this extra piece and you can see just how fabulous i always go from behind when i'm poking out the glitter card stock just so i can see where i am because it can be sometimes a little bit heavy on the eye with the color um, so I'm going to just poke out all those pieces. Uh, Laura May says, I made eight cards over the weekend. Now I'm motivated to get back in the groove. Uh, my husband also wants me to make a bunch of Ultima organiser for his vehicles. How fab. Fabulous. Do you know what I have missed, though, while I've been away is crafting? Because I did a lot of my prep before <coughs> I went away. Um, and I have missed Have craft. you? Yeah, yeah. I know I, I enjoyed it for the first couple of days when I did lock that door, but I was starting to get tetchy fingers. Do you know when you want to do something on a night? Mm. And I, I was missing that. I was missing just getting... And I was going to take my tangle, but she made me, she made me put it back. Oh. She was like, you can't. <laughs> we're doing no crafting. Mum, we're doing no crafting. Um, and I think it's just because she wanted to spend some time. We don't get to spend just me and her on her own. Yeah. It's usually... Lovely. Yeah, so it's been lovely. It, 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 lovely to have just us, us two on his own she's my first born after all and she lives away so it was lovely just really just what the doctor ordered absolutely fabulous but like i said we've eaten and drunk way too much Whew. you what sorry we eaten and drunk oh, far too much what was the most much. delicious thing you ate debbie you what love what was the most delicious thing you ate <gasps> oh. oh do you know what and i'm not a burger man i'm not a burger per bur burger person just said You're not right. a burger man. Do you I'm, not a burger man. <laughs> I'm not a burger person, but there was a per burger place, and I think it was called. Oh, don't laugh. Go on. It was called Fat Hippo. <laughs> fat Hippo, yeah. Fat, fat Hippo, yeah, anyway. yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Did and so they did it because they, I had to obviously I have to think about vegetarian options for my yeah. daughter. So it was it was a place that did both because I like meat. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Not gonna turn me vegetarian anytime soon because I love meat. Um, <laughs> And this burger come, did and you it was called peanut a... butter. I did. Oh, it was Debbie, the it's peanut so good, isn't it? butter and chili jam. Yeah, peanut butter and chili jam. Oh, oh and I just thought yeah. peanut butter in a burger. Yeah. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Oh, I'm going to push so outside good. my boundaries. I'm normally a safe person and have the same kind of thing all the time. But yeah, I had a. It was it was peanut butter chili jam. Because there's oh. one in Darlington. You, there's not. It's one in Durham. Sorry. Is there there's really? A fat in Darlington. Uh, Durham. Yes. What a fat hippo, Johnny, in, um, in Darlington. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a, like a Newcastle. I think they it started in the North East and now they're sort of branching out a little bit, yeah. Oh, wow. There's one in Durham. We'll go off to work one evening. Oh, gosh, so good. What oh. a mess, though. Honestly, what a mess. Well, well, you see, the thing is, it was in Lane 7, so you'll know where Lane 7 is, don't you? Yes, the bowling alley. It, oh, pff, it's full of kids. I felt like a granny when I walked in there, <laughs> literally. And I said to Tanya, I can't eat in here. I can't eat in here. So we're going to sit outside. Well, it were nice. So we sat outside. You're in the little sunken yes. area. So, so I sat, and sat in there and had mine. <laughs> what I had a, it so sounds a bit dilapidated. It's not. <laughs> it's like, it's 
sort of sunken garden, isn't it? <laughs> it is a sunken garden, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it was really lovely to do that, but I wanted to eat it, but Joe, no one warned me how messy it were. Oh, I got yeah. it down my front, I got it in my chops, I got it absolutely in my fingernails, it were absolutely everywhere. Yeah, it's so worth it. Oh, every single mouthful. And my daughter had the vegetarian option, she said it was absolutely one of the best mm. burgers she's ever had. So I shall never poo-poo a burger again, because no. that burger was out of this world, it really was. Yeah, I went for a Sunday roast yesterday, Debbie, and it's been a while since I've had one, and my, oh my, it was the best, one of the best Sunday roasts I've had in a very, very long time. And I must say, apologies to any people that live in the south of England that are watching, usually roast dinners in the south, nowhere near as good as a roast dinner in the north, Debbie. No. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Usually always a bit disappointing. And I'm from the south, so I feel like I'm qualified to say... Controversial there, A northern roast know. dinner is a lot better than a southern roast dinner. But I was in Cambridge and it was an excellent, an excellent roast dinner. So maybe I'll take it back. <laughs> Right, Joe, what I'm going to do now is I've got my two panels cut. Well, stop talking about food because my belly's rumbling. Uh, but I'm going to now just give it a little pop because, like I said, I love white on white, but sometimes um, it can be a bit too stark. And what I wanted to do is just lift it, literally lift it a tad by adding a shadow drop behind the back. So that's why I've cut it into the two. So I'm going to pop on the back of here my dotty tape pen. You'll find all of it. Oh, wait a minute. Producer Johnny, a dotty tape pen still in stock? I think they are back in stock indeed. Yeah, can you we'll oh, double just check for a second? You. you check for me just to make sure. Uh, but I'm going to pop the dotty tip here. Now, this is a very delicate featured die. So you, you're going to need a really good glue for this. This is a perfect one. But you could also use, do you know our tacky glue decanted into one of our fine tip applicator bottles? And you could go around that as well um, to do this. Uh, but for, for me, I'm going to go with the, um, the easier and strong option of using our uh, dotty tape pen. Amazing. There's a four pack on those dotty tape pens in stock over on the website. Go have a look at those. Panda Craft saying hello, everyone. Hi, Panda Craft. Uh, Roslyn says hello. Uh, all so nice to see Debbie and Joe this morning. We don't get to see enough of you two together. Oh, thank you. They're like buses shows, aren't they? With with uh, with us. us two. Yeah, we don't have any, and then we well, we're here all day today to, together and all day tomorrow together. We as are. Well. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's lovely to honestly. It's lovely to be back. I was telling my daughter. I said I'm really, really looking forward to going back. Um, and then I found. I was working with you, which oh, I to, uh, love, love working with you. And then I got a lovely um, producer, Johnny and Charlotte, as well. I know, who I don't feel like day. I've worked with for ages as well. So it's it's been lovely. It has. Um, and I've got to go around get be giving gifts to everyone. Charlotte ain't got hers yet. Johnny's got. Johnny, you've got yours, haven't you? Yeah, you've got yours, haven't you, Joe? I have got mine indeed. Yeah. yeah. We've got another great day tomorrow. Uh, as well, coming up on Crafters TV, there's absolutely oh, yes. loads happening. We've got a launch for you. Oh, we've also got a great launch party as well. So it's going to be another wonderful day uh, tomorrow. Johnny's just... Uh, I did yeah. wonder what Johnny just said then. I had to double check because my, my, uh, my earring isn't the best at the moment. There's uh, so many sweet... The, uh, Lisa, wasn't it? Lovely Lisa that sent um, them to us. Uh, well, she sent us personalised boxes, didn't she, Debbie, for, for each of us? Uh, and then uh, sent us a massive box of sweets as well. Debbie's got hers just there. <gasps> Look at these. We've all got one. Look at this. I mean, With come on. In them. Are they I can't wait to get my hands. I love marshmallow. I absolutely marshmallow. Oh my days! Absolutely. And the little chicks. They look like little chicks. Mm. Well, they are little chicks. Peeps. And then all the, look at this. And this is we, we've all got one. Corinne, Craig, Jan, yeah. Asara, Michelle. Everyone's got Amazing. one. Amazing. Yeah, honestly. So Such we can't find Craig enough. Lisa. And then we've got the biggest box of sweets ever. Ever cream eggs in there, uh, like key lime uh, M and M's. Never had them before. Key lime M and M's. Key lime M and M's. Yeah. How exotic. So, and I did get to meet the lovely lady herself because she was at the book signing in Chesterfield when Sarah was down at, at our store, um, and I got to meet her, have a chat with her, have a little picture with her, and she was telling me about her being the one that gave us the sweets last time, which I didn't get very many of. I don't know about right. you, Jordan. Get very many. Uh, um, I think the Reese's ones I had quite a few of, but yeah, oh, I didn't get as did many as some. Then, <laughs> so yeah, so she and she sent us some more. When I want to send more. All oh, my days. Go and check out the social pictures because. 
Deary me. We That's should open a lot of carry, couldn't we? Yeah, absolutely. Now, can you see that lovely detail just by drop shadowing? Literally, just move it a fraction to one side. And you can do a drop shadowing anyway. I've done it where it's going. You can see the drop shadow behind the leaves, behind the angel there. Lots of snippability factor to this as well. Lots of colouring opportunities because you've got all these beautiful features on here where you could colour the flowers in. You can add gems to it. You can use things like your tricolours, your alcohol markers, your glitter pens, whatever. Whatever it is that you want to do to colour in the colouring opportunity is perfect there's also paper piecing options as well because you could paper piece pieces into there too just to give it that little standout moment and i really do think that that is absolutely beautiful that price is insanely good i've um, never seen a price like bubble it and squeezes, is that a white pearl card you've used there, yes Debbie? so this is centura pearl and it's the hint of gold so if i lift it slightly can you see that running of gold through there it's just absolutely beautiful. This is from our A3, uh, I think this is my A3 one that I've used Perfect. this one. Because I wanted to create myself a 5 by 7 base. So yes, it is. I use the A3. Um, and I've cut it to 15 inches by 5 and a half inches. And then scored it at 7 and a half and an 11 and a half to create the lovely feature for an easel card. And then I've cut myself another piece there uh, for the front panel. Use that glitter cardstock as well. So again, that 12 by 12 um, luxury... Um, Mixed card, gold, the glittering gold, that's Brilliant. it. I knew it to come back to me. But again, just using these pieces, and that's still going to act as my background for this to sit on top of. But if I pop the gold, you're going to miss out the gold then. So I've actually used um, some of the gorgeous, and again, I can't decide which way I'm going to, no, I'm going to go with script. Yeah, we'll go with a nice soft option. So I'm going to use the script in the background to act as my mat and layers. So let's get all these pieces together. So I'm going to pop on... I'm going to use wet glue for this one, which is the back of the coated cardstock. But for the actual coated cardstock, I'm going to, use, I'm going to switch glues. Um, and that's just because this is the wet all-purpose glue. So we now, can use all purpose on the back of the You can a use it on the back just of uncoated, just not on the front. It's not the ideal of glues to use on the front. Tacky glue is the best one to use uh, for that because it's a water based one. Um, this is the solvent based glue. Um, and because it's solvent based, it can lift colour um, off there as well. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use a bit of tacky glue onto the back of there. But before I do, I'm just going to make sure, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, so I'm just going to use some tacky glue. You could use your tape pen as well, or red liner tape, or, but I'm just going to go in with um, tacky glue. I think the tacky glue is drying up. Let's see if I can get some more out of there. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just grab um, I'm going to grab one from the side, Joe. No worries. Um, Panda Craft says, I fancy doing a roast dinner one day this week. If not today, then maybe Thursday. Cut us one off. We'll, uh, we'll pop round, won't we, Debbie? Yes. I do love a roast dinner. Yeah, absolutely. I love a roast dinner. Mm. Absolutely. Roast beef and all the trimmings. Yes, please. Yeah, I've not had one since I had my big wrap. Do you know my wrap? Oh, yeah. That I had when I was When you watching... bounced all your beef at your app. Oh, my days beef. on Eurovision because I got that <laughs> excited. <laughs> I did bounce it everywhere. Oh, sorry. Everywhere. First of the day. So I text that uh, Debbie was watching. <laughs> Debbie had a, a Sunday roast in a wrap while she was watching Eurovision. Um, <laughs> I texted her, I said, oh, this one's a bit of a bop, isn't it, Debbie? We're jigging away here. And she was like, oh, I'm jigging away so much I've bounced all my beef out of my wrap. <laughs> It was a Yorkshire pudding wrap. It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> I can't wait to go back down there and grab another one because it delicious. was divine. Uh, but yeah, I've not had a Sunday dinner for ages. Do you know what? I think this one's dried up as well. Just Do you know, Debbie, minute, I saw, just on the note of Eurovision, I saw two Eurovision acts at um, Mighty Hoopla, uh, which was a festival I was at on Friday. Who were they Blue, acts? obviously. Oh, of course, They were yes. there, didn't do their Eurovision, didn't do their Eurovision song. And then I saw Cascada, and she'd represented Germany a few years ago. She didn't do her Eurovision song either. I was Aww. very disappointed. Yeah. I think Cascada, I think she might be Danish, but she represented Germany. I could be wrong. I'll check. I love very good. the blue song was I Can uh, in that 2011 that 2011, one yeah. yeah yes I love that song I'm going to see blue soon oh I know can't that wait. was very very good Debbie you're in for a treat oh I can't wait I cannot wait cannot wait now I think what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some foam to lift this because I want to give it a little bit of extra shadow so I'm going to lift it a little bit off there but before I do all that Joe, I'm just going to decorate the inside of my card panel as well so again using the um, now this is from the Enchanted Dreams 12 by 12 paper pad um, so again I'm just going to pop that onto the back and again I'm going to use the um, 
tacky glue because I'm going onto a coated cardstock. I won't get no warpage. I don't know what's happening to our glues today, but we see they're very warm in this studio because they are drying up. Are you all right over there, Joe? Sorry, Debbie. Are you all right over there? Yeah, I was trying, trying to stretch out. I had a very, I had a slightly longer drive than usual this morning. Yeah, do what? I had a slightly longer drive than usual this morning, and I was running early, Debbie. So <laughs> shamefully, I uh, stopped and had a nap on the way in. <laughs> Yeah, I had 40 minutes in the car just around the corner because I was uh, an hour early for work, which is just glorious. <laughs> I mean, I can nap anywhere, me. Uh, I just Charlotte, into, where I did just you park? into the garage. <laughs> the services. I had a nap and then uh, carried on my journey. Yeah, it was Aww. lovely. I did have to get up at like in the middle of the night. I was so going to say, what I time did you it. set off? Uh, I start. I set off at. Uh, I got up at five and left at half five. <laughs> yeah. But no traffic at all, Debbie, on the Monday morning. I'm not surprised, Same Joe. <laughs> I am not surprised at that time of day. Yeah. There I we go. So I'm just popping that onto there. Now, I'm going to stick this panel onto the front before I actually pop that down. So I'm, I'm going to do this all in one go. So I'm just going to put some glue um, just onto the back of here. And again, I'm going to use our tape pen for this one. I mean, people saying they should have made today a bank holiday. I mean, we had two last week, guys. You We're being a bit have, greedy you know, now, aren't we? Bit, We're greedy being a bit now. greedy, yeah. We've just been a little bit greedy if we wanted another bank holiday. We had two. Do you think we'll keep the extra bank holiday? Do or we do what, you think sorry? we'll lose? Do you think we'll keep the extra bank holiday? No, they just moved it because it should well, have been moved, on Sapphire's birthday. Yeah, but they moved Monday one, didn't they? They moved yeah. the Monday to the Thursday and then gave us the Friday as an extra, as the extra one. So we have yeah. got had one extra one. But there has been calls for an extra bank holiday in the summer, hasn't there? It's sort of around July time. Because all of the bank holidays are clustered together at the start of the summer, aren't they? We have April. Uh, yep. We have one in April, well, two in April for Easter and then two in May normally. Yeah. Which seems weird that we don't have another one until the end of August. No, I know. And then nothing till Christmas again then, aren't we? But yeah, so do you think we're being a bit greedy well asking for all these we bank holidays? We also have very few in this country, you know, compared to the rest of Europe. Uh, Spain, we, I think, we? has the most amount of public holidays, and I believe we have the least amount of public holidays in Europe. Oh, that's not right. I know. That's definitely not right. Yeah. Well, we think we should, we should start a campaign, Joe. Start a campaign. I'm gonna, Let's I, get some I'm more extra Google bank holidays. This. I'm, I'm going to sort of fact check this uh, as well. Right, I'm just, I've just had a little bit of an incident with my uh, form, form, so I'm just going to pop that down there and just pop another little piece just onto the back. So let's pop that there, like so. There so, we go. oh no, sorry, I've got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have enough bank holidays? They have eight national holidays uh, every year in Spain. Oh <gasps> wow! I didn't, I didn't realise they had so many. I thought, every, I thought we all had the same kind of bank public holidays. I didn't realise we all had different ones. Shows you what I know, Joe. Shows you what I know. Oh, and then each region has extra public holidays on top of that as well. Oh, So I think wow. it's about, I, in my head, I think it's about four, there's about 14 public holidays uh, a year uh, in Spain. And um, some of them are multiple days as well, so. Right, I'm just going to pop this down. On, I'm just having a little bit of an issue there. Let me just pop that back on. There we go. So I'm just going to flatten that out now and place it nice and i'm going to try and get that nice and neat so i've got a frame going around both sides there we go that's better um and i think yeah that's lovely and it just lifts it slightly again to give it a little bit there of course you could pop do you know what we could have popped behind there some acetate on the back of it and pop some shaker elements inside too nice um, but i'm just going to give it and it, what it does when you do this is it gives it an extra little bit of a shadow so i've created a little bit of shadow using the gold glittering gold cardstock underneath but just by lifting it slightly with some foam gives it that extra little lift and then of course we just need um and i've used this from the um the, I was going to say Fairy Garden. It's the, fairy, it's the same one, isn't it? It's the Enchanted Dreams one. Is it Enchanted Dreams? Yeah, I was going to yeah, say Enchanted Dreams. Yeah, it's the Enchanted, Enchanted Dreams. Dreams one. Of course it is. Eh, yeah, dear. And I'm going, to, I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue just onto the back because we're going to some coated cardstock again. I'll tell you what, Debbie, I'm so hungry now after you've been telling me about your peanut butter. No, I know. I'm, and my stomach's sick. And you're growling as well, producer Johnny. I, I thought you were mine. tummy rumbling through the wall. <laughs> oh, is it Johnny? <laughs> it's Johnny. Did you think it was? Did you think it was Charlotte? I thought it was Charlotte. Yeah. I definitely need some bigger uh, foam pads. These are all the little diddy ones. Let's have a little nosy while I'm back here. Uh, any questions you've got about these or anything else uh, that's coming up throughout the day today here on Craft TV? You can 
pop me a question, you know how to do that. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, of course, on YouTube. If you're just joining us as well, we're asking you uh, what you've been up to over the Jubilee with the Platy Jubes Bank Holly Bobs here uh, in the UK as well. Lots of highlights. Let me know uh, if you got involved in the festivities uh, at all. We'd love to know. Maybe we can watch the concert back tonight when we get in, Debbie. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about doing a roast chicken as well. You're going to do a roast chicken? Yeah, I think so. I've got a craving for a roast chicken. I don't what know time would we get roast chicken done? Oh, we'll get can... back at about half eight. We'll, eight. we'll we'll get back in about quarter past eight. It'll be done by about half nine. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've got a craving for like a roast chicken salad with some crusty bread. I don't know why. Ooh, that sounds nice. Mm. That does. That sounds lovely. Now I'm just going to use my sentiment to create this, and I'm going to keep it nice and simple again. So I'm just going to pop that into the centre. There we go, and then just have that there. And again, there you go, a beautiful, very simple, but very effective uh, card using those delicate creator card. I can't believe the price that I can see on the screen. £11.89 for two sets there, two beautiful sets as well. And that's before you get to take your, you know, your, your platinum price off, your gold price off, your silver price off, whatever membership level you're at, you'll be guaranteed you're going to get a fantastic bargain there to get both of these dies for that amazing price. If you have ever been sat on that fence with this set of dies, don't sit there anymore. Take a leap off there, grab them in your basket and get hold of them while you can. Yeah, they should be £16.99. So you'd be looking at £34 or $40 if you get them uh, individually. They are available individually. Do not buy them individually because for far less than the price of one, you're going to get two. You'll need to go into the shop the day to find these. So head over to the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.au, hit the shop the show button. Uh, and then you will find uh, these in there, which is brilliant. This one is a place to remember, and you will also get Fairy Garden too, under £10, uh, just over $11 if you're a platinum member, uh, which is amazing. Uh, right, let's move on, because there's loads coming up today. Uh, so, uh, you have got here your um, storage. Now, these are always so incredibly popular whenever we bring them to you. Let's start with the large one here. So, uh, we can give you one of the panels uh, inside for free, which is great. So, you're going to get two sets of the magnetic panels. They're absolutely brilliant, because, of course, these are the best way uh, to save uh, and store your dies. So the thing is with the dies, you know, they are going to last you forever really aren't they indefinitely as long as you look after them properly and on here the great thing is you can either uh, store them by collection you could store them by occasion it's on a three ring binder as well so anything else that sits on a three ring binder system you're also going to be able to pop into here uh, as well and the great thing is that you just pop these off nice and easily and the other thing is maybe you're working on a certain collection you can actually just remove the whole magnetic panel which is excellent you will get two packs of the magnetic panels for this price that means you'll get six panels in total which is awesome so that's a large one the quality is amazing on these i know so many of you um choose to store your dies in this way we do also have exactly the same deal for you available in the a5 size which is this one just here in the smaller size 1998 21.94 uh, is your price on that under 16 pounds uh, or 18 dollars which is brilliant right so we're going to take a really quick break let's share with you uh, all the details of club on club inspire and we're back with more on the other side of this welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, 
And let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick Buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Oh, we're having a very busy wake up call today. Lots of you chatting away. Uh, Adriana says that sounds like a yummy tea. It does indeed, doesn't it? Uh, Panda Cross says, I'm gonna to pop to Asda and get the items for a roast dinner. So cheers, that's tea sorted. There you are. Uh, Adriana says, what a gorgeous make, as does uh, Mary's loving that too. Uh, Linda says, great card. Stunning effect, says Sherry. Uh, Jerry says, beautiful. Sarah Brown saying, absolutely gorgeous. And Christine says, beautiful cards today. Just as always, Debbie Robinson. Indeed, two wonderful demos uh, so far. And we're going to move on to these now we've really we've really packed this show full of versatility today haven't we because this again is another very very versatile set of uh, dies and stamps but again with a brilliant brilliant saving because you uh, should be looking at 52 pounds or 60 dollars essentially to get all of these now you get them all it's not one of them oh, it's essentially what the price of one isn't it uh you're getting they're only 12.99 in the uk or if you're in the us 14.95 so for a few pounds or dollars more you get all four don't even entertain buying them individually platinum members are paying for one what you should be paying for four sets here and really brilliant because they are all separate these so you can really um Two, any two of these for £23, don't do that. Make sure you get the collection. But what you've got here is the ability to really, you can become your own sort of crafty florist with these, which is gorgeous. So you're going to get the Enjoy Your Day. You've got the For A Beautiful Friend. Love that you've got all the different stems and jars and vases to play around with too here. This one is just for you. And you'll also get this one here, which is the Wishing You Well. So you can really play around with them, uh, interchange all the flowers, all the vases, all the stems, and just create lovely projects. You could really build these up into something quite large, or you could keep them quite small and delicate. It is completely up to you. 1246, 1435, if you are a Platinum member. Again, if you've got these already, I would love to know what you've been doing with them and how you've been getting on with them, because they are really cool. And we've had them um, for a little while now. They've become really part of our uh, core range. So definitely snap them up whilst they're on such a brilliant deal. Very pretty, these, aren't they, Debbie? I love flowers anyway and I love the idea that you can build up your own project using the stamps using the dies because you don't have to fussy cut anything um, again I'm shocked at the price that's on the screen I'm not gonna lie um, but this is the kind of thing that you can be doing with them so you can build your own bouquets you can take it into lots of different styles of cards as well um, and really go to town with these where you can go as big as you want with the bouquets or you can keep them really simple love this one that um, one of our I think one of our experts has done this one um, which has got all the you the stamps being used to create background paper so it ties all in and brings it all together this one i adore i'm not gonna lie i love this one and truly done colourful, this one that. look at this this is a masterpiece this one just gonna bring this forward so you can see talking about the idea of taking your bouquet stamps and dies and really building up to tell your own story look 
look at this it's jam-packed full absolutely stunning i love that sample trudy absolutely beautiful just showing you the versatile ways that you can do and use it uh, you can stamp onto vellum which is what's been done with that one uh, this one a lovely clever one again what trudy's done and just used it to create a wreath look how beautiful that is a very big wreath at that very colorful very de delicate and de decorative uh, and again lots of different ways that you can use i love this one because this one that's been designed has been onto the front of a gift bag that's really using cool. can you see in the background some of our nesting dies yeah they're those fancy ones that we've they got the are italian, italian yeah. names. yes i can't remember the names the italian italian names yeah yeah absolutely stunning so again lots and lots of different ways that you can use them i'll just try and put that back nice and neatly um, but a very simplistic set of stamps and dies that you can then build and if you're going is it the whole set this is for isn't it oh so, all of them you get well let, so you could take members are spending less than they pay for one debbie to get all four just, honestly that is just absolutely phenomenal it really is so that means you can then really go to town by creating lots of different flowers from different sets not just the one set so you've got the one set that you can work with, but then you can take elements from other flower sets and build this up to create really beautiful pieces. So the idea behind them comes to you like this, Joy, is where you've got your set of stamps. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse you, Debbie. <coughs> Would somebody about to just go and grab me a yeah, drink of water? That's, that's okay, you thank you. Just got a little tickle. <coughs> thank you. Excuse me. <coughs> I think sometimes when I take a bit of a breath. I don't want to even then you no, have I so I'm like, do I go, do I not go? I'll be go? fine, I'll I'm be fine, fine, I promise you. Uh, but yeah, you can see on here the sets of stamps is all the separate pieces from your stems to your foliage. Fo oh, I can't say that word, foliage, <laughs> foliage. You've got your beautiful sets of different flowers on here as well. You've got extra elements like your bows to really tie in your bouquet. Thank you so much, Joe. Et voila, there you are. <coughs> Uh, apologies. No worries at all. So remember what's happening for the rest of the day then here on Crafters TV. Uh, we've got that amazing craft along coming up for you at 2pm in the UK, 9am East Coast, 6am West Coast. If you want to go and see what you need for that, all the details for it will be over on our social media. You know where to find all those. Uh, and then of course Monday Makers comes your way, 6pm here in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, which is 10am over on the West Coast. Brilliant deals all day today as well. We've got a knockout deal for you on the Country Village later. So really looking forward to seeing that one, Debbie. Yep, absolutely. So again, like I said, you've got all the stamps there, Joe. But then, of course, do you want to spend hours fussy cutting them out? Mm -mm. No. Well, you don't have to because you've no, got all you. the dies there ready for you. So for me, this is an incredible set, an incredible price as well. So for all of the stamps and all of the dies, £12.46 if you're in Club Pattern... Club... 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 Club, Club platinum um or even if you're not even if you're buying and you're not in the club 50 pounds 58 for everything is just an amazing uh, an amazing set to hone and to be able to create your own pieces with so let's show you how easy they are to do because literally all we're going to do is have a little creative play and build up our little bouquet so i'm going to bring in some nina cardstock i've got my stamping mat i say my stamping mat <coughs> That ain't mine. Ho, 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 ho. It's our Craig's. Have you <laughs> stolen Craig's stamping mat? Yeah, well, he left it here for us, hasn't he? So he's, uh. a, he's a good soul, he is. Uh, but you can see lots of lovely little different set stamps on here. Doesn't affect anything, by the way, if you uh, end up inking onto there. It doesn't affect it in the slightest. But I've got some Nina cardstock because I'm going to be using our alcohol markers. And then I'm just going to choose, um, choose my sets there. So I'm going to use this flower. I think I'll have some of this foliage. That's the word I'm going with. And I guess loads of these elements you could just use individually, like the foliage. Well, it's going to be a thinking, really handy one, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm just thinking, let me see if I can grab me other pieces because um, I love, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you've got all of these to choose from. So I'm just going to grab all the rest of mine out. So you've got different styles of vases that you can be using um, from your straight ones to your chunky ones lovely round ones which I'm going to use in this particular set so I'm going to do a little bit of a mix and match Joe let's have a little bit of a mix and match each one of them as well as a set of sentiments on there so you've got sentiments on there as well that you can play around with um, you've got lovely bows so you can be creating a beautiful bow design on there too so lots and lots of lovely um, stamps to get playing with and really get creative with so yeah I'll use that one use that one um, yeah hmm Hmm. No, so I'm many gonna, options. So so, many there choices. is. There's so many options. And I'm going to do these one at a time. So I'm going to put, uh, put, 
couple of those. Let's move that off there. Uh, I'm using the inner cardstock because it's the super smooth cardstock option. Using tri blends, so of course I'm going to use my uh, correct ink, which is our alcohol proof dye. Again, very simple ink. Just look at the alcohol pen on the front cover, and you know you're good to go. Uh, we've got tri colours coming up later. Is it later on in Monday Makers? Uh, yeah, uh, Monday Makers. We've got yeah. those tri colours coming up. Lily's my absolute favourite, Debbie. I love these. And these flowers. look like a stargazer lily to, my, to me. Which honestly. Are my, just absolute fave of my absolute fave. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, I've gone with the softer colour this time as well. I'm using rustic brown. There are four colours in all of our um, inks. Um, so there's noir black, rustic brown, pebble, and ooh, twi 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 um, twilight. Oh, do you know? I completely forgot. Is it twilight? I know I've been off for a bit. <sighs> pebble, noir black, rustic brown. Is it twilight grey? I think it's twilight mm, grey. Is it? Is it twilight grey? I might be going wrong here. Do you know what? <coughs> bear with me. Bear with. Bear, bear with. with. Uh, yeah, Betsy it's says, me. I have this set and I absolutely love them. Uh, and Lisa says, so good to see your friendly faces, Joe and Debbie. Lovely to see you as well. Aww. Nancy Clark says, uh, what a beautiful card. Jerry is letting me know that they're going to bag some bargains. So I'll tell you what, if you're in the market for a bargain, then today is absolutely the day to stack some up because there is loads of great deals for you. Loads of quite unbelievable pricing. Mini. Remember, you can see everything that's coming up throughout the entire day under the shop the day button on the website. It's sort of the best place to go to see all the deals Absolutely. in one place, which is brilliant. And it's Flagstone, Joe. Flagstone. Flagstone, yeah. Completely lost tra I mean, train I wouldn't have thought. been able to tell you what it was. No, do you know Twilight like Grey from our um, water reactives? It's yes. from the Harmony ones. So, yeah. So there's lots of choices that you can, you know, you can use. Um, uh, but I'm going with a softer one. Sometimes the black can be a bit too harsh, so I've gone in with a soft one, and I'll show you the difference between the two in a moment. But stamp all your images out, and then, like I said, you're not having to worry about cutting anything out because we've got all the dies on there as well to do that. But I'm just going to pop me uh, stamps back onto the right set because I know what I'm like. And then when somebody else comes to use them, they'll be like, who's been messing with this uh, stamp set? There we go. So we've got all those. Now we're going to do a spot of colouring. Um, but like I said, you've got all your dyes on here to be able to then fussy cut those out as well. And it's just a case of finding the right spot. Um, and it gives you a little bit of a white outline as well. So it creates a really nice uh, finished feature. And you've got that with all of them. You've got them with the foliage ones. You've got them with your vases. Um, so there's everything covered for you in that collect in all of the collection actually it's not just one of the collections uh, i guess with these and um, like all flowers debbie how you color them up is going to really change them isn't it like yeah it could be absolutely beautiful autumnal fl uh, leaves there they could be cherry blossom this time of year if you wanted them to be as well so really play around absolutely and you can have a play around with them you can you know you can really you can really go to town with them and of course you can use any kind of colors as well joe what's your favorite color dilly uh, is those ones with the sort of the white ones with the pink in the centre? Yeah. Uh, which sort of the stargazing ones? Yeah, they are my favourites. I absolutely love them. I'm not home very much at the moment, so I haven't been able to have any flowers for ages. That's me? not like you, Joe. I know. That's not. Normally, like it's you. like a little florist, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, in mine, but yeah, not at the moment. Uh, but it's peony season at the moment as well. You know. Is There's it? There's loads of peonies absolutely everywhere uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, all around. Peony season only lasts about three or four weeks, apparently. You know. Very, very short. It's also our Sarah's favourite flower as well. But Is yeah, it? they're everywhere at the moment. They are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if you ever need, if you're in Sarah's bar, bad books, best way, the easiest and quickest route out, Debbie, <coughs> bunch of peonies. <laughs> but you're in, not in luck if you're getting a bad books at the end of July because you've got to wait all the way to around till June before they come back into season. Really? Uh, again, uh, oh, wow, yeah, I do did... it between. Uh, yeah, now's the time of the year uh, because it's a perfect time to get out of them. Uh, remember also, twelve ninety nine is what these should be for one set. You're getting four sets today for that price. So actually, platinum members for less than the cost of one set. We're going to send you all four sets. If you've got any questions about these as well, I'd love to uh, hear them from you. Also, if you've used them before, let me know. I'd love to know how you've been getting on with them. Crafters TV over on Facebook. Crafters Companion, if you're across on YouTube. Mary Beth says, good morning from Minnesota. Uh, hi, Mary Beth. Uh, and Betsy says, I have this set and I absolutely love that. I think they were a great value at the higher price, but snap them up. Uh, whilst they are, are on such a fantastic deal. Beyond fantastic mm. deal. Absolutely crazy. I feel like I've walked back into a cartload price kind of show today. Oh, absolutely. Um, because that is, you know, we've had some great, um, great products on the show yeah, today. We have. And also some of our best selling products at best ever pricing, uh, which is really awesome. So it's definitely a great chance to uh, get, a, uh, get yourself a, a bargain. We all need a bargain after the bank holiday, a post bank holiday bargain. 
Oh, That's absolutely. What we're all after. Absolutely. I'm trying to remember which way around I'm doing this, John. Let me get that the right way around. I don't know about anybody else, but I like to make sure all my pens are all the right way as well. I like to see them uh, like that. So all are I'm going to do is... a mix of the two there, the bullet nib and the... Yes. And the... Uh, yeah, so nib. try so our try blends as well as our um, brush nibs as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, have a little play. Just it, the, th the beautiful thing about these stamps is that it's your creative license now you're gonna you're gonna get creative with them uh, you're gonna color them up however you want and again tricolors would look lovely um using these but i'm just i'm literally just creating a little bit of an outline and i'm gonna go in yeah but there's something is... about watercolor florals which just works really well isn't yeah. there yeah yeah absolutely. absolutely i love that debbie's uh <laughs> debbie's fan has got the crafters companion sign the Crafters TV sign swinging in the background. Is it say, really? <laughs> yeah, if you come out to the white. Am, am I swinging away? It's like you've, uh, it's like you've nicked Celine Dion's wind machine. She's not doing that tour now this summer, so you, we've brought a wind machine in for Debbie. Oh, she's she not doing it now? No, she, can't, she had to cancel, unfortunately. She's having a few health issues, I believe. So uh, she's rescheduled it. But actually, to be honest, Debbie, with the amount of things that are on at the minute, it was a blessing, really. <laughs> Does that mean I, I was going to say? Does that mean I might be able to, you know, get stand a chance of getting a ticket? Absolutely. <laughs> come, along, come along with us, Debbie. Oh, and honestly, I, were, I, I just love Celine. She's absolutely fabulous. Uh, now, you, the, the vase part. There's a reason why I've not coloured it all in because you know you've got the extra little stems mm. and things like that that you could be doing. You could actually stamp your stems into there, like so. Um, and you can do those kind of things um, to create, you know, uh, extra depth and dimension when you're using these. So for that, I mean, and like I said, you've got all the dies. You're not having to take any scissors. You've got every single die on there to then be able to create and cut out all the... There's no fussy cutting involved whatsoever. So it means that your dies are simply going to then cut these shapes out for you. So I'm just going to lay them on the top so you, you can you see what I mean. Do you stamps on their own as well, Debbie? They're, honestly, you can create all sorts with these, Joe. They're just absolutely fabulous. And I'm just... I'm just blown away with that price that's on the screen. £12.46 for the platinum price for every single flower set, every single amazing, die set. That is a lot of elements. 170. We need Johnny to do some maths here. Oh, yes. 117 Definitely elements. Definitely going to require a calculator. Yeah, you're going to have to get a calculator because I, I want you to see would, the value um, that you're getting in this deal. I bet these would look, make lovely background with your pigment ink oh, pads as well if you have to play around. Absolutely. And that's a joy, I guess, of all those stamps being separate on there as well. You know, yeah, and you saw uh, that tiny. beautiful one. I'll, I'll fetch that back in to show you that lovely design that she's done creating in that background piece that is the what you can do using this which just looks incredible and like I said any coloring medium to be able to create this then you use your things like your foam pads your uh, 3d collal glue all those kind of things that you can then create depth and dimension with but all your elements simply just stamp and then cut some of the stamps you can just go in with your quick dries as well so I'm going to layer all those pieces out so you can see what I've got I'll save my stamps for another time um, but you've got all of these pieces Joe to then start getting really creative so that's exactly what we're going to do now we're going to use all those elements and I'll pop them off um, onto the side of my glass mat and uh, the lovely thing not having to do any fussy cutting for me is it's just amazing uh, I would not want to sit there I know Craig would, because it's right up Craig Street. It's not mine. It's not mine at all. I the want something cutting. that creates mm. quick and easiness, and that's exactly what this set does. Uh, but that phenomenal price that you see today is just, it's crazy. I don't think we, have we ever done it that low, guys? No, best of a price on these. Uh, Bethan says, I'm with you there, Debbie. Pens have to line up right and all store with uh, light at the shade uh, at the front. You've got to get them all organised, absolutely. Mary Rhino's loving this project. Uh, Cindy thought you were colouring a Christmas ornament at first when you were doing that, <laughs> uh, bars. Uh, and Bubble and Squeaks says, in 2021, I dug up a peony from a building site, put it in the back garden, and it comes back year on year. Wow. Amazing. Is that? If I had a garden, Debbie, yep. I'd definitely have peonies in there. Do you know what, though? I mean, I've got a job to keep the house plants alive, so I can't imagine how I'd fare with the garden. <laughs> Are you rubbish. very green-fingered? No. <laughs> I was going to say, if you could ask me about mine, do you know, a, a few years ago, yes, I would have said yes, I could, you know, brilliant, and I love, I love doing all that kind of thing, rose bushes, heaves, all those kind of florals, um, <clears throat> not anymore, I don't have the time, so um, no, uh, gardening's not my forte, uh, but this kind of gardening is... Oh, creating yeah, your absolutely. own bouquets absolutely this is definitely up my street right i'm all ready so i'm going to show you i'm going to make a little bit of a bridge fold card with this so i've taken some of my multi-purpose card
card stock again. I've only cut it down to a small size, so I'm going to show you. This is seven inches by five and a half. So we've got five and a half inches by seven. Let me just go over those measurements again. Yep, yeah, five and a half by seven. I've then put some score lines in. So using our scoreboard, I've popped some score lines in. And I've put my score lines in at one inches and two inches. And if I remember right, late five and six. It's just because sometimes, Joe, I just turn it around and just flip reverse it. So seven inches long. Sorry, width. Wait a minute. Width, depth. That's the one. Scored at one inches and two inches, five inches and six inches to Perfect. create this lovely fold. So you fold it back, and I'm just going to bring in my scoring tool for this bit so I can show you. Fold it back on that first middle score line and burnish, and then fold it back on itself, and it creates this lovely gatefold effect. Again, bringing it back in, pop your score lines in, and again, on the outside. So it creates this little... Um, bringing in to the future there. It's called a bridge fold card. Uh, and then you need, of course, a little piece um, to create the bridge fold. So for that, I've taken a piece of uh, multi-purpose cardstock again, and I've measured this in at five inches, and then the depth-wise, it's entirely up to you, but I've got in with a, a, an inch and a three quarters with this one. And that's gonna sit onto the bottom, and it creates that fold where it holds it into place. So I'm going to do the decoration part now, Joe. So <clears throat> let me bring in, and I've used some, uh, I'm going to say cardstock, and Debbie's forgotten which pad she's taken this from, so I will have a little route around in a moment and tell you that uh, in a second. But first things first, we're going to do a little bit of decoration. And all I've done with this, rather than um, mat and layer it onto another piece of like black cardstock, a quick simple tip that you can do is you can take your um, chisel tipped um, pens and yep. just mark it around the edge so I, if I grab one to show you what I mean and this is using the ice grey colour take your uh, chisel nib and then all we're going to do is we're going to take it onto the edge of the paper like so and it frames it without having to do anything so you can cheat sometimes with this but again it's just another way easy way of using things that you already have in your stash and when you want to cut back a little bit on your you know cardstock that's exactly what you can do uh, and that's very, what we've done with this one very busy on that paper library uh, at the moment that monday mega deal i hope we've got enough for that to uh, last a show debbie uh, to last until feeling. the show it's going very very quickly i'll share that with you uh, again in a minute we've got a real jam-packed day today we haven't have, we, when it comes yeah. to deals it really is quite fantastic um again lots of you loving this particular collection and why wouldn't you and remember if you are paying for all four collections uh as a platinum member what you'd be paying for one collection do not get them in now hilariously they're on a two for 23 pounds now you don't need to be carol vorderman or rachel riley to work out that that is not a great deal do you two for 23 pounds when both of them are 15.58 today or 17.94, which is a brilliant, brilliant saving. Any questions you've got about this or anything else, get them into me, Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, uh, if you are across on YouTube. Very simple set to use though, this Debbie. I'm thinking Very you'll, simple. you'll instantly have a, a load instantly. of ideas, won't yeah. you, of how, what instantly, you're gonna do Instantly, instantly. And, and then you can then start to create. So I've just literally folded this in now so you can see that fold. I'm gonna take one end and stick it down onto the bottom part and bringing this in to match it up. So if I just bring this up forward, you can see now it's created that bridge fold. It does fold flat, so you just simply fold it down so that when you're sending it by post, you've got a nice flat element to it. But the fun part now is us creating using our fabulous uh, sets. So I'm going to start with the vase. So we're going to use a little bit of uh, 3D Kalal glue, or as you all know, I love to call it the chunky glue because chunky. it's got that lovely chunky element. You can um, actually search chunky glue now on the website and it comes up with a Kalal um, 3D glue gel. Did you know that? You're you? kidding me. Yeah. If you search no chunky way. glue, you'll get the uh, 3D Kalal glue gel. There you are. <laughs> Making oh, it, bless uh, you. even the website speaks Debbie now as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to start to build this up and I'm using, uh, like I said, my, I'm going to call it, it's going to be chunky glue because it gives me time to um, position it into place, but you can then build your bouquet up um, however you want. And again, I might tuck a little bit, no, we'll have that over the top. Yeah, we'll have it over the top to create a little bit of depth. And then you've got all the foliage pieces. I have foliage. to say foliage because I'm not very good with that word. I never have been. You can tell me till you blew it face that it's called, what's it called, Joe? Foliage, apparently. Foliage. But I say 
phone. You know, there's certain words that you've said in a silly way for so long, Debbie, you can't remember what the actual word is. Exactly. Foliage is definitely uh, one of those words. Exactly. And I just, I, I, you know, there's no excuses. I just, it's something I can't get my tongue wrapped round. I really can't. I try, but I can't. Um, and you, you can tell do me. You, Debs. I know exactly. In that. Yeah, exactly. We're all individuals. Um, thankfully, not too many of me. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, all individual. We all bring us own quirks and things to the team as well. Um, it's just who I am. Can't change myself. Try as I might. Um, oh, don't try. Don't try oh, changing no. them. I couldn't if I tried. I'm too long in tooth for that now. Look how beautiful this is looking, Joe. Stunning, isn't it? It's really starting really, to build Debbie, this up. Like not to detract in any way from what you've done, it is stunning. But that's not. There's nothing here that I think most abilities of crafter couldn't do. Exactly. You know, a very simple card fold, a bit of colouring, layering it up, and I think that really shows you the quality of the stamps and the dies, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. Absolutely, it does, Joe. Um, so again, I'm just gonna. Oops, I think I've put that in the wrong place. Let me just wipe that off and pop it down in the bottom bit. But this is this is the lovely thing about this. It's you know it's down to you. You get creative with this. You start to build up your bouquet. You start to add these elements to it, um, and you can really create some quite striking, beautiful uh, cards with this. So I'm just going to finish that by adding that little bit underneath. You need to let this dry, of course, because it is our 3D collage glue. But and already how long will that you can take see roughly to dry properly. <coughs> so to dry properly, I would leave overnight. Okay. But it can be tr it can dry literally within half an hour to an hour can be set in. Uh, but if you want to post it and things like that, where you don't um, take away from anything, I'll just leave it to dry for a few hours, and it's it's good to go. I'm using an happy birthday sentiment that I've got from my um, stash. And then I've got my little butterflies on there because you know me and butterflies, Joe. <clears throat> can't have a card without a butterfly or two. Can't have too many schmetterlings. You really no, can't. No, not at all. And I'm just going to add these little elements on there. Let's pop another little blob of glue, little blob of glue on there. And then we're just going to pop these on just to give it a nice little feature. And again, just showing you how fabulous these sets are. But it's, I tell you what, it just keeps blowing my mind every time I see it, Joe. Yeah, that really price. Cool. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Amazing deal, it really is. Uh, we're going to have to try and squeeze that demo of the show in. It's going to be a hard one today, isn't well, it? Well, I've got one that's really dried, tough. so I'm going to leave that there just for a second because it does need to dry, but you can see just how beautiful you can create using, and I'll show you my dried one so you can see the finished one. All I've done with this, Joey, is I've added um, some uh, gems into Perfect. the centre and I've just moved it a little bit further across. Really but gorgeous. That's now dry and it folds nice and flat. And like I said, um, once you've got it set there, you've got your beautiful, lovely vibe feature there your bouquet but you've built yourself using all the elements some of the elements really maybe beautiful. one set of them it's entirely up to you it's gorgeous. but it's a fabulous price for a Amazing great deal. set yeah, i just really don't is. think we're never going to get that price again uh, i'll quickly run you through what you're getting then whilst you grab your demos debbie so we've got here the enjoy your day which is one the great thing about these is all the different flowers well of all the different vases all the different sentiments all the different foliage all the different stems truly is a, a mix and match and i know maybe previously you thought you know i can only maybe stretch to a couple of these today the best value is getting all of them which is great so you've got this one just here that's enjoy your day you've got for a beautiful friend i love that mason jar that you've got in that one really stunning and the vase there too you've then got just for you uh, which is this one just here and you'll also receive this which is wishing you well platinum members are spending less than you would for the whole for to get one less than the cost of one to get the whole collection as a platinum member 1558 or 1794 that's a saving of over 35 pounds or 40 dollars 1246 or 1435 for platinum members right then card of the show Ooh. debbie right okay so <clears throat> gosh when where do we start there we did we started with these beautiful um gatefold cards and i just showed you how you can use one of the sets in a different way but don't forget we've got that craft along coming up later on where i'm going to take you through three different stages if we can get three in we'll do our very best to get three different styles in there so that's number one number two was the delicate creator card using that beautiful fairy there she looks gorgeous so that's number two and then number three i'll use my dried one joe just so you can see so it's not uh, pieces not falling off so we've got one two or three, using our builder bouquet, 
you decide. Brilliant. Get your votes in. One, two, or three. Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Right. Uh, this one here. This is your Monday mega deal. 24-hour offer on your Monday mega deal. So you need to make sure you are snapping this up. It is very, very busy. And I'm not surprised because uh, it's the best price that you've ever seen on this. That's why the Monday mega deal has to be something really special. And that's exactly what we have done for you. I know Christine Mahoney was saying she owns four of these. And the great thing is about them is that you've got ten different, um, ten different different themes within here which is amazing of all your different papers to take you all the way through the year which is excellent I'm going to share with you uh, some of the other designs that you've got in here so this one uh, is some of your festive papers uh, that are in this collection let me just grab this for you and I'll show you these uh, so really great all on a 12 by 12 120 GSM so perfect for uh, those matte layers that you might want to go for all the Christmas ones in a very blue theme, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look at what else we've got in here. The other great thing is, well, you do have lots of space to store your own papers on top of uh, the papers that you are getting included in here as well. So it means that when maybe your paper pads are coming to an end and they're uh, almost used up, you can actually remove those individual sheets and then store them in here too which is great maybe you don't have a dedicated craft space uh, and you have to you know take your crafty items uh, in and out of uh, a cupboard or something like that then this is a great way uh, to move all of your papers about maybe you go on a lot of um crafty retreats or crops then uh, this would be a great way to store everything and, and make sure everything is moved around but it's also really well looked after uh, the brilliant thing as well is that it does fold down relatively flat I mean even when it's got the 150 sheets in there I would say you're going to be able to add at least an extra 150 sheets in here without any problem whatsoever uh, the other one as well, as you can see there, the other great thing is where we've got that handle on there. Card of the show is demo number three, Debbie. Demo number three. Oh, the bouquet. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love, honestly, I love these. I love the idea of you being in creative control with these stamps and dies. Uh, but what for me really sets this apart today is that fantastic price that you can get a hold of those incredible deal. deals that we've got on the show today. Uh, right, let me also share with you uh, the Grande Swirls. They are available to you. You've seen these more in Monday Makers. This one here. Uh, is your fancy filigree that we've got just there. You will also get the dainty snowdrop. You've got your elegant flourish and you'll also get the timeless florals in here as well. 23.97 or 29.85, which is brilliant. Under 20 pounds or $24, which is excellent. So make sure you get, you know, the amount of different things you can do with these. You can use multiples of them, use them for frames, corners, flourishes, build them up loads of different ways you're going to be able to use. I love that kind of over the edge design as well that we saw uh, using them too. So make sure you're snapping those up. Myself and Debbie, we will be back with you uh, for the Incredible Craft Along. That will be coming up 2 p.m. here in the UK or 9 a.m. on the East Coast. That is just in one hour's time. We'll have the lovely Lorna Jane joining us as well. If you're not joining us for that, we'll see you a little bit later for Monday Makers too. So that will be coming up at 6 p.m. in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. over on the West Coast. Thank you very much, Debbie. It was a pleasure. We'll do it all again in an hour, shall we? Yes, absolutely. Can't wait. Brilliant. We will see you back here then in one hour's time. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Head over to social media as well and have a little look at the bits and bobs that you're going to need. It'd be lovely if you could craft along with us uh, for that gatefold craft along. We'll see you back here in an hour's time. Take care.